It is time to continue to go to hell on Mars. Hey yo. Hey yo. All right. Sorry about the little bit delay, but here we are. All right. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Zan stream here in my channel. We're about to continue a retro shooter game session today or tonight. Before we get into this, allow me to introduce myself as always. I'm Zenpak Musashi Gaming. You guys can call me Zan. I also go by the name of Zenpak Musashi, the Zanpakuto with the community of DOS Gamer, my Discord channel of the Zaibatsu, Slippies, Complex, and Super Soldiers, Counter Strike Beta, Discord server community. How's everybody doing on the Saturday? Hope you're all doing some well. Tonight, we are going to be continuing where we left off from last night. Yes, we are now on the part three session of from the source port of Doom 3. So we did about, exclusively about six hours of gameplay. And I uh, hope you all are looking forward for this longer session. And yes, once again, we are going to be doing a voice chat session eventually very soon. So um, I hope you all will be waiting for that. So yes, we're going to be hanging out with the guys today like I just made a promise from last night that we are going to be hanging out tonight and they'll do a voice chat and when I'm doing a session of Doom 3. So, I'm going to let ahead and let the music go on by. Actually, we can resume it back. So, in the meanwhile, let's give some couple few shout outs. I've seen a few, two people in the chat. Hail Raid the Dungeon. <laughs> and hey, Untrustable, the Unthinkable. Welcome to the Zam stream. Who cut the Mitu? You're just dropping by to say hello. You can't say you have to see a friend of yours maybe within two hours later. Uh, that's fine, Untrustable. Um, hope it's good. Hopefully, you will stick around a little bit longer. But hey, you've got a friend of mine, friend of yours. That's fine. Hope you have a good time with your friend. Maybe you might be coming back because uh, I'll be here. So, don't mind if I'm dressing up a uh, little bit of jacket here. Decided like me, let's got something to do to uh, dress up. And of course, I got my dust cap as usual. Cannot leave without my dust cap. And hey, Ultra Fan, my brother, all the way from Romania, Kumerje, Michibinde. Welcome to the Zan stream. Okay, so, uh, yes, we are going to be doing a voice chat tonight. Yes, I'm going to be hanging out on my Discord channel, so if you guys want to head right over, we're going to be heading over to the voice chat. Just feel like coming by, do so, do so. In the meantime, i got to switch the layout. I'm going to switch the layout, and i just got to do a few things. That's indeed. And OBS loves to do this to me. Load. Yes. Uh, actually, I think this should be fine. I need somebody to come in here so I can see if I can get this fixed up. Okay, so. Just got to do a few things. Yeah, da, da, da. It's always have to be this way, hasn't it? Do, do, do. That's always has to be. Okay, I don't know why it's doing this. How come it keeps on? Uh, okay, this, this has got to be a thing for me. All right, I guess I have to do it. Yep, and it's always the OBS. It's always have to be the OBS problem for me. All right. All right. Just gonna have to fix a few things. Uh, let's cover that up. And I need to close that stupid ad notification, whatever the hell that is. It's always the case. Okay. So, how can I do this? How can I do this? How can I do this? Stretch this thing out. And, all right, I guess this will do. All right, just put up there. 
All right. And okay, should be actually. You know what? Let's do it like this. There we go. All right, that should be okay. All right, here we are, part three of the source part of Doom Three and uh, Ultra Friends with me. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Well, are you ready to go to hell with me on Mars? Hell, hell yeah. All right. VIP lounge is open, and, uh, sessions are open. Ugh, so, uh... Satan's Satan got nothing on us. We're the rulers of hell right now. Damn right. We're just gonna be, like, the, um... We're gonna be, like, the prime evils from good old Diablo. Oh! Well, we could just... Or we could just be the evil, evil versions of Cuphead and Mugman. <laughs> Could be. So, uh, I just want to do this real second. I want to bring up an update, regardless with the votes that I you know, talked about. So, uh, so a little bit of update. Nothing has changed yet. So, uh, but the so far, for those who just came in, uh, Diablo Games is still currently in the lead with fifty votes, fifty percent of votes. And throw the pump out. And uh looks like rain, blood rain one and two thermal cut is in second place with twenty five points. And hooray, hooray, hooray for bloody hooray. Well, in the meanwhile, they always have one votes of Silent Hill Two, Darkstone and, and Turok games. But you know what? I'll make it fair. Uh, essentially, once Doom 3, uh, Resurrection of Evil. And yes, I decided that we're going to continue with the expansion pack of Doom 3 because Resurrection of Evil is the continuation of Doom 3, the main game. I just hope, I just hope, I just hope that it doesn't have a sucky ending just like it was just like with Dead Space 3. Oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't, I, I played it before. It doesn't have the sucky ending like Dead Space 3, the, uh, the DLC one. Good. But yes. Uh, yes, I did say that we're going to play Diablo, and then eventually, um, for the first time in two years, uh, two years ago, and first time on channel, I am going to be restreaming Ghost of Tsushima, the director's cut, and now a lot of people say, why would I want to do that? Well, I love the fucking game. It's awesome. And plus, it's to celebrate the, uh, the launch of the game finally coming to PC. So this is, could say, this is a two, three years later for the game itself. Uh, and yes, the game looks perfect. Uh, so far, uh, no updates about what graphics or CPU is required yet, but we're probably getting very probably, closer to it. Probably, uh, probably they're gonna announce it after the Easter holidays and, uh, for people who are celebrating an Orthodox. That, or it's gonna be by the end of April, or it's gonna be beginning of May. But I will keep you guys in post. Any, anything is possible right now. Yep. But uh, afterwards, uh, I did mention sometime this summer, I'm announcing that I am going to be going back to the RPGs from Japan. Formerly, I call it JRPGs, but we are going to be going back to it because it's been such a while since I took a break from it. And uh, I think it's time that I will put in within between a Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest XI. So that's going to be a, a good vote. But when that time comes... I'll let you guys know ahead of time. But in the meantime, so, so far, uh, looks like that Diablo Games is pretty much going to win this vote. But the vote is still up. I'm going to keep the votes probably around till tomorrow or Monday. But uh, what, what they're saying is that it will come after Doom 3 Resurrection of the Evil is done. And uh, as promised, I decided to make it fair. Uh... Once Diablo game is done, let's do Blood Rain Thermal 1 and 2 Thermal Cut afterwards. But in the meantime, in the meantime, Ultra Friend's got his ticket. And he's going to come with me straight to hell because we're going to hell on Mars. So I'm going to boot up the game and let us begin. Oh, and speaking of the new updates, have you guys checked the new updates from the... Uh, uh, what's the uh, Rise of the... Uh... Rise of the Ronin? No. No, no, no. The the MS DOS game that uh, from Apogee that uh, did uh, that called it Ludicrous Edition. 
Rise of the Triad. Rise of the Triad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That got an update about uh the other day. No, I haven't. Yeah. No, I haven't well, tested it yet. Go ahead. Well, apparently, apparently, it has multiplayer cross pla- platform. Yeah, I do know that the uh, they added the cross platform for all platforms, the- and uh, they actually finally added. I hate cutting you off. Uh, they actually added uh, the how many kills or how many secrets we found, and uh, they also added a bit of the updates regarding with the um, uh, making your editing. own levels. Yeah, editing levels. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to say as well. Yeah. And the Xbox, the Xbox Series S or X got a huge update. Now supports a 240 FPS. Well, that's good. Yep. You know what? It's kind of funny. You know what? I've been kind of saying this for a while. Hold on, I need to take that thing up. I had to boost up your voice, by the way, so people can hear you. I'm, I've been, I've been very skeptical buying. I, I won't get an Xbox Series X because you know it's five hundred dollars. But I might probably may consider getting myself an Xbox Series S. As, you know, I don't have to worry about buying up the disc. And I can just buy it digitally and whatnot. And uh, think about this. I mean, yeah, I can have an, I have an Xbox Game Pass. I'm going to renew it. But at the same time, I'm thinking about playing some Xbox, Xbox One games in this future on stream. Yeah, but basically you're buying the same games that you already played on the PlayStation 4. I mean, it's not going to be... No, not all different. of them. No, not all of them, because all of them are only Xbox exclusive. It's not PlayStation exclusive, because they're all owned by Microsoft. Like, Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tazooie, Perfect Dark, all those are owned by Microsoft, for example. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 that's true. But I am going to be planning to do Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tazooie, because... It used to be on Nintendo 64, but that's a third party, and plus it's owned by Microsoft, so we're good to stream that game. And I really want to stream it because it's one of my all-time favorite classics back in the N64. I only played Banjo Tazooie, but it's it's super really fun. It's a 3D platform, and uh, if you look at it, it's like Super Mario 64 kind of style, but not the kind of style. But you know, I'll, I'll show you. It, it's it's a lot of fun. It's, it's something that. I grew up a part of it in my childhood in the N64, so I'm bringing those kinds of things onto my channel just to share with I'm you guys. Pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fun, but like I never, I never touched or ever heard of Banjo Kazooie in my life, to be honest. Well, think about it. Um, Banjo is basically the bear, and he's got a, and he's got to read a pack pack, and his partner in crime is. Uh, hold on, so I gotta kill this imp. Two of them. All right. Anyways, sorry, I got interrupted by the evil spawns, and I'm on low on health. And uh, so basically, Kazooie is a female bird, and she's basically kind of like a red feathered uh, rooster. No, not a rooster, but more of um, kind of looks like a roadrunner, you can say. Okay. So basically, you uh, you basically the story is you get to use two characters and as one. So basically, you're playing as Banjo. Banjo Kazooie are the main protagonists. So you're fighting the uh, the hat, the witch called the Hag. So basically, it's your typical villain who wants to cause trouble for Banjo and Kazooie. So he has to kind of uh. So you, it's basically, uh, you're trying to have to stop the witch, but her name is called Hag. No, Ultra Friend has never heard of Banjo and Kazooie. He never has. He never played it. Never, I never heard of it and never played it, man. I mean, come on. I mean, there's a there's a lot of games that are not was well, not really was available here in my country in Romania. It's not my fault that these games didn't came so popular here in the yeah. in the Europe. Yeah. So yeah. So kind of blame on that. Uh, uh kind of playing on that raid. Because uh, Romania doesn't have all the shit that, you know, us in the U.S. and in Europe, like anywhere in the world. So it, it, it's just, just Romania is an old country, but their their system is fucking weird. But I hate to say this. system is weird. No, it's true. The system is very weird as well. I mean, come on. It, it's not my fault. I mean, we didn't even have the, uh, what the, what Dutch people had uh, at their homes with uh, what what's called Commodore 64. We didn't have that one as well. Or Wii U. Or we Nintendo stuff like that. None of that, those exist in my country. But of course, we did have the place the PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, and the Xbox 360. But basically, that's it. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, Ultra Fan will love Banjo Kazooie. Oh, goddamn right he will. That's why I'm willing to buy an Xbox Series S because you know what? I'm gonna buy it. I mean, yeah, I can get emulated, but uh, I'm gonna get the Xbox Series S and connect it with the capture card. Hey, Jessica. Uh, hey, Pika girl. Welcome uh, to the Zan stream. I, I wouldn't recommend it using an emulator because we don't know how these things work with Xbox 360 or whatever Xboxes. Uh, uh, Xbox. Uh, there's uh, an Xbox uh, One emulator, but. Eh. I'm just gonna get, I'm just know, gonna I, buy the system. Say the least. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend trying it. It could be risky and all that. Because I I tried it once like years ago. I wanted to try the emulator PlayStation 2 on my old computer when I had Windows XP. Because well, first thing I of hell, wanted... we got bodies and blood everywhere. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, sorry, no problem. Because I wanted desperately to play the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith in English dub. Because I only have it part English, a full uh, German. So how you doing, Jessica? How you doing, Jessica? Welcome to the Zan stream. Now, hello, Jessica. How's it going? Welcome to the live stream. And hail raid the dungeon Ooh. in the voice chat. Ooh, hail raid the dungeon. But yeah, but yeah. He's on mute. He's on mute, by the way. Um, can you hear him? No, oh, he, his yeah. mic. There he goes. His mic was mute. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now we can But yeah, oh, yeah, you had PlayStation in your places and you're trying to play PlayStation emulator in that and that didn't work out. It it didn't work out at all because I didn't understand what files are missing. What the heck you talking about? The, the, the everything is right here. Everything is what is just supposed to be working perfectly okay and I decided to give up. No, I'm not doing this shit it's playing also, PlayStation emulators and all that shit. I give I'm giving up. I would say that it's also because you're missing the the uh, you're missing the ROMs because uh, even the Prats is here, he would definitely say uh, you're missing the ROMs. And uh, no, I had the right, I had the ROM, but it did not read it for some reason. But well, I just I, don't know. I, I just I just I, I just give up. Seriously, I just give up because honestly, here's the thing. I saw that you can play on the emulator PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, yeah. the uh, Asur Asura's <laughs> Wrath, if you heard of that game. Yeah. Hey, Raid, look at Marine's face. Look, he's, His eyes is looking a different guy because he looks fucked. Damn. He's what like, ugly monk. Good old-fashioned good old 3D design. Yes. What? A, uh, that's an ugly mug. Uh, at least it looks great. At least that... Um, I got the. I finally got a pistol that sounds so beefy from the uh, from the beta alpha that they added into it. So this is all HD textures that the fan community of Doom made, and it's and it's what? great. And it's great. What? What this guy is missing is either sunglasses or the helmet of Do uh, the mm. of Doom Dead Space Marine. Well, the thing is, they were trying to cap his original design, but the only thing is, the Doom guy in the original Ultimate Doom and Doom Two, his hair is blonde. And this one, his hair is black. So they kind of, they kind of made it like, they were doing this, they want to do something different for Doom, so they kind of made like this, kind of basically like a horror sci-fi, you can say. Makes sense. We want to do something different for Doom. Let's change the character's hair color. That'll be unique. That will be unique, yeah, sure. And plus, what a great idea. And make him mute. Yeah. But, but yeah, um, you're, so you were you were talking Banjo Kazooie, and like I wanted to jump in. Yeah, um, I think yeah, you'd I actually mean... you'd really really like that game, Ultra Fin. Like it's right up your alley. It's base. It's a 3D platforming adventure game. I'm pretty sure it is, uh, mate. But like oh. I said, it's not my fault that the game didn't became too much popular to come over to the to the overseas. Yeah, yeah, no, mate. It it makes sense. And there's a lot of con and there's a lot of console devices that are not that were not available here in my country, but they were available over there on your guys on your places, like with uh, with the Wii U or Wii Nintendo, uh, free D Nintendo 3DS and stuff like that. Th those mm -hmm. those devices were never available here in my country. I don't understand it why. Either they didn't could either they couldn't make a contract with them and try to bring those devices here to the country, or I I got no clue. Re regional stuff, I guess. Well, did you have the Nintendo 64? Never. Yeah, that's the mm -hmm. problem. See, Romania, it was like, Ultrafin admits it to me, like, his his system in, Ro like, the Romanian system when it comes to, like, consoles and certain things they're allowed to have, it's very complicated. We only, ha we only had only two Nintendo types. 
only two. Nintendo NES and Super Nintendo SNES. Oh, That's all. For Nintendo 64, never. Oh god, huh. come on. Oh, that was so close. I I squatched that. You would, you know, like with it being Nintendo, you figured no. that that thing would be available all over the place. Yeah, you figured that it would be available, but unfortunately, it is not. Wow. It is ironic, isn't it? I would. Only Nintendo, and, only, and, and, and now with these new two mini devices of Nintendo, only two Nintendo, only two types of Nintendo are avail again available in my country to get. The Mini Nintendo NES and the Super Nintendo SNES Mini, which which basically like uh, you have a SD card that you can put ROMs from your computer as well. If you if you have some ideas, if the games that are listed is not good enough for you and you want to add more, you can do that. But then after uh, then you can and basically you just like connect your TV to HDMI cable or AV if you want. You know what I would say. You know what I would say. If I was, if me and Raid were living in like Europe, was to say, dude, we were, if we had known you for years and you couldn't get it, dude, we would ship, we would import that shit right to your country. Bro, if I had the money, I'd send him one. That's what I would do. And fours are cheap. They're they're very cheap. You can get the you can get the, the HD mod too. You would have to get a uh, power converter. Because he, you know, Romania uses a different uh, power the system, only... different voltage than we do. I mean, the, I mean, uh, we do have the advantage that we can, oh, that that I can get a Nintendo Switch if I want, like the real deal. Yeah, which is and no problem. I, but I think that they, um, I, I don't know, Zan would be able to confirm this, but I do believe Banjo Kazooie is available on uh, the Switch through their. Um, the neon Online. sign system? No, that's not. Because oh, they don't, they, they don't have that? No, because that's the thing. Because they, Microsoft owns Banjo Kazooie, and they have to kind of talk uh, to. They have to talk I to did, Nintendo. They have to get Nintendo. Nintendo, uh, Nintendo has to talk to Microsoft about the permission. I did, but the I only did thing not is, know that Microsoft but, owns Banjo Kazooie. But Banjo Kazooie yeah. is on Super Smash Brothers Brawl. I mean, um, on uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate, because they made a contract yeah, and all that. Oh, and speaking of this. But yeah, but speaking of Nintendo, uh, have you seen the new the latest update uh, games that they that they imported right now to Nintendo Switch on your accounts? Oh yeah, the uh, the upcoming arcades. Yeah, I saw that. I saw those ones. There's plus wrecking, plus wrecking crew. Yeah, wrecking crew. They got a couple of few uh, Japanese ones, which I'm not familiar with because they were never over here in the in the West and permanently. But yeah, it's like my answer to raid is a. Uh, it sucks that, I mean, eventually they might import uh, Banjo-Kazooie on Nintendo Switch online if negotiation to Microsoft can confirm. Because Rare Software is owned by Microsoft, obviously, and that's the biggest fucking mistake they ever done. Yeah, I, I, I was not aware of that. So, yeah, they've been they've been owning them. Hey, Quidix, who cut them at two? Welcome to the Zan stream. How'd you do, Quidix? So, so for, your answer, for, for your answer, uh, Raid... Rare Software has been owned by Microsoft for 21 years after the contract, after Rare Software's contract expired with Nintendo, and they were they rushed with Star Fox Adventures. You remember that? So, yeah, I do. They they a lot of people are pissed about that game because uh because the final boss was such a disappointment because everyone thought they're gonna fight General Scales, but it turns out they rushed it and they changed the scene to you have to fight Andros. And so, because they rushed it so hard because their contract with Nintendo was going through expired. And then Microsoft came in and then they said, yeah, we're going to buy off. We're going to buy Rare Software for about three to four million pounds, including all the IPs that they worked on, including Banjo, Perfect Dark, uh, Kamoe, actually, um, uh, Pinana, I think was it. All the, like, all the shit in general. Yeah, I was not aware that Rare was owned by Microsoft. Yeah. That just kind of slipped under my radar. Well, at least you got me. I pay attention to uh, the stuff. Even I'm a geek, but I'm also reading all the game uh, journalism and all the quotes been going on. But yeah, it. But yeah, I mean, at least Banjo. I mean, I don't see it. Could I mean they could bring them into Switch? Is like I said, they have Nintendo has to talk to Microsoft about that and. They could, because the thing is, Microsoft will probably let Nintendo have it, because the thing is, Banjo-Kazooie, 
has been their Nintendo platform since the 90s. And um, it, it's possibility. It's just, you know, Nintendo's got to have to pay the money. They got to pay the money for it. It's all, it's all a matter of a, can they get a licensing deal or can they just outright buy, buy that IP? They have to, they have to, they will have to pay them as agreement. They can't buy the IP because Microsoft, Microsoft owns that IP. But if they're willing to sell it, they would sell it. But it would be like tremendously money. But yeah, it's like, when was the last time a Banjo Kazooie game came out? Since Bolts and Nuts. That brother was way back in 2008 or 10 ish on the 360. That was it. And then yeah, they. It's been over a decade. Yeah, it's been over a decade. Way past the decade. Freya, what are you doing? My dog's barking. Uh, the code 112. But, you know, we never had a proper actual Banjo Kazooie game in a long time. The only thing they did was remaster, but that's only rare replay but only on Xbox One, and that was the last time we ever saw it. It's just Microsoft is not even doing anything with it. Not even doing anything with the IP. They're just too focusing with the, the Seas of Thieves, which is their big thing with Rare Software, and they're not going to even bother with it. So they're not touching it. I'm going to have to... I'm going to look up the codes. So, so it, it's... Code was 142. Oh, it's 142? I think so. Uh, I don't think it's... I did 142. Uh, one. Yeah, I'm looking it up. It's been such... I have to do this. It's been such a long time. Where am I? Locker 1... What was it? 112. 112. Okay. 112. 112. 112. See if I can find it. No, that's Resurrection of Evil. 112. You know, you know, you know that one twelve that you just typed over there is actually a, a Romanian emergency call. Oh, is it? 112. Yeah. Okay, found it. One twelve. Five thirty eight. It's five thirty eight. That's like a time zone. Let's see, five thirty eight. There we go. I'm still, I'm still want to yeah. get that stuff in there too because I've been in there too, but you have to jump in that. Fucking shit. It feels like they put an invincible wall here because you could just jump, you could just put a block, you could just either put something right here, you could just simply just walk in, you have to jump in there, but for some reason, I don't know if it's a patch or not, because it's it's not letting me in. I'll just have to crouch here. Punch a plasma shot. Maybe, and... you crouch, maybe, you I can't maybe crouch you it. May, maybe you should have played the uh, what's it called? The uh... The BFG edition, maybe that would have worked. I am not. Oh God, I'm not touching that shit. <laughs> you go through that window. I am, I'm going through the the, the, the crouch on this window. I can't. My guy, my guy's too fat. The, no, where where the guy's dead. Oh, the dead. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. I, I was... Okay, I just hit this body. He just go flinging in the ceiling. What the fuck? Yeah, you... Yeah, you get into what? there. I've, I've done it many times. Yeah, what was that noise I just heard? Here, boop, boop. What was that noise? I never heard that. The hell was that noise? Yeah, this I is don't how. Know. That was weird. That never happened to me. Yeah, it's not letting me in. What the fuck? Yeah, can you guys hear that? Like, I hit the glass. Yeah, it just I makes sense. I, I can't. I have them. The oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got it. Yeah, so do I. I got it. Never mind. I got it. I just had to. I just had to kind of squeeze in. But yeah, when I was hitting the window, it was making that boop, like kind of like a like a hospital operation sound. That's probably just a sound bug. Sound yeah. glitch. Yeah, this is all patching. But yeah, I, I did say that. Um. I'm willing to buy an Xbox Series S because, well, I'm not going to use online, but I'm just going to play some retro games and stuff on it. I mean, but I got some ideas playing that system and stream it. I mean, Xbox Game Pass doesn't have all of it. It's just their cloud system is bugged. They never worked on it because uh, they wasted so much billions of dollars. And I have I have Perfect Dark the PC uh, I have Perfect Dark the PC port which I found it on the webs and actually it runs great on PC because somebody put it on the Git it's on GitHub and they actually 
made it functional. You can play it with the... I tried to play it with the Xbox controller, but it's just weird. You have to kind of tweak it a bit. But yeah, I wish... I kind of wish we will have a Banjo-Kazooie again. It's been so long. But... They're not going to do anything with it, unfortunately. No, they're just going to sit on it. That's pretty much what they're doing. It's going to sit on it. It's like Perfect Dark. Well, Perfect Dark Remake is coming, but I'm very... I am keeping... I'm not going to hold my breath of excitement. Because some... I, you know me, Raid. They are, they're going to probably fuck it up in one simple way, in one after another. Oh, yeah. They, they'll, they'll fuck it up. And, of course, it's not Rare Software is going to develop the remake. It's one of those companies, and, of course, it's in California, so that's a red flag for me. That's a big red flag for me. And I'm like, I am so annoyed and not going to be happy how they're going to butcher that series, because... You know me to heart. I love Perfect Dark as a franchise. But after playing Perfect Dark Zero, when I first played that, I am so disappointed with it because it was like Halo and all that weapon swords and shit. Oh, I hate that so much. Hey, Kratos Skywalker. Welcome to the Zan Street. Howdy do. Howdy do, Kratos Skywalker. The thing How you is. Doing? Uh, the thing is with Perfect Dark Zero, what they did is they changed the weapons, so you can only own, like, two or three, and of course it's weapon space, and plus when you're carrying weapons, there's weight. They even added, like, a weight limit, so whenever you carry, like, a heavy machine, like, a laptop gun, or a Super Dragon, or a, a Pac-16, which is basically an M60 A3 with a grenade launcher, it makes your character slow. And if you want to make your character go faster, you have to unquip it your character and you have to go fast. They never add any sprinting. And the aiming mechanism is is severely freaking ass. And I'm not kidding. And here's the guy we're looking for. I, for the relic. I was part of this. I helped them. The math is open to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil... You finished with your dinner, lady, also? One of the new weapons from Paramus Mandate is a grenade launcher, which is assault rifle from the Infant Scout. Oh, with the grenade assault rifle for the for fear? Oh, nice. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us. I'm downloading the artifact. Oh, the soul cube. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, um, Equitix, they have have they made the the update public of uh, Lethal Company yet? Oh man, they really pulled we did, because that me and Ultra Friend and Equitix, we did try out we really try out the, the latest update and holy shit, there's so much they added. Quickly. Not to mention I almost had a heart attack because of it. Yeah, and that was the thing. You never left the ship. That's the whole thing about that. We were trying to get you out of the ship because you, if you want to see the update, you have to experience it. No thanks. Well, then Somebody it's going to be me. Somebody had to teleport your asses all to death. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Ultra friend. Equitix put... Equitix put me and, and him, him and I, on God Mode, so we can't die. Yeah, what about me? You were in God Mode too. All of us were. Was, was I? Yes. I don't think I was. You were. He, what he, because Equitix runs a server, and he activated the God Mode, so you were invincible too. Hey, Zombie Slayer. What's going on, dude? Welcome to the Xan stream. Zombie Slayer King. Hey, Zombie Slayer. But yeah, yeah, we were all in God mode. And you were too. That's why That's why me and Quidditch were trying to tell you, come out of the ship because you can't get killed. Because even Quidditch told you so. He told you that 
we are all in god mode and we cannot die because we were checking out the update. Yeah, well, those guys are scary as shit, so no thanks. I don't need to have a heart attack for, 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 because of that game, okay? <laughs> he... He can't die on the outside, but he'd die on the inside. Exactly. Ab <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Also, you're not sure if I checked out, but Twatter's freaks targeted uh, Silverval again. Silverval? Oh, God. Who's... What's that again? Is that a... Is that a VTuber or a Ruby okay. character? I have... I have Who lost. has a VTuber? Oh, that one. Yeah, okay. <sighs> you know what my response is? I just don't freaking care. To be fair. If it's Western VTubers, that's kind of like my least concern. How I look at it is... People are very, very jealous and envious of VTubers. Well, yeah. They're making more money. They're very, very successful. VTubers, a lot of VTubers are incredibly successful. Yep. And a lot of people can't handle that. Yep. First, like, I don't watch VTubers. Oh, yeah, that's just, why I gotta go back and power this not, It's up. not my thing. I watched, I watched a couple once just to see what it was about, and I'm like, yeah, this isn't really my thing. Yeah, it's not my thing but either. I could, I, could, I could see why people absolutely love it. And that's, you know, all the power to them. But I, I have noticed, like, even me, someone looking out Looking in from the outside, the, the 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 envy and the jealousy of VTubers knows no bounds, man. Oh no, that's that's so no boundaries. Oh yeah, Equinix says, well, I do agree that they were scary. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> See? See, even Equinix agrees with me. Once. Oh, um, I remember that. You know, okay. I I remember seeing stuff about that when that happened. Yeah, zombie. I saw you guys were doing a bit more Red Dead too. I could, I was thought of jumping into chat, chat. I mean, uh, chat with you guys, but I was super really tired for the whole day. And plus, me working all week kind of gives me my told. Yeah, I hear. Oh, so basically, that VTuber is because of Hogwarts Legacy last year. Oh, of course. God, they can't even stop about Hogwarts Legacy. To be honest, I never touched Hogwarts Legacy. I'm not gonna even touch it. I just don't care about Harry Potter anymore. I mean, I love the game. Don't I mean I love the Harry Potter games? Don't get me wrong. Except it, 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 it's uh, only that Hogwarts Legacy. I don't know. It's more like a. It's kind of basic. RPG, it's kind of RPG like beach online game or something like that. I don't know. How no, is. it's it's single player. It's a Singapore open world Harry Potter customize your own character mechanism. That's basically what it is. You can customize your own wizard. You can choose any. Uh... Yeah, you can you can customize your own wizard. You can choose any rooms you want. Even though the Sorting Cat would say that you are perfect for that sp uh, for that spot, but you can change it. But you can change it if you want. But I still kind of. I, I still kind of say this, but I looked at Zombie. I thought he's. I thought he was eating that dead guy's dick for a second, but it was just his abdomen for a second. It's like okay, at least it's he's doing that. Because if he was eating the, the the front dick, I'm like okay, then no, no, no. I'm putting you down. All right. Oh god, I remember these lights. These lights hurt my eyes. Yeah, exactly, Credo. Dooge! <laughs> Alright. You know what? But there is one game that I need to add it to my library, and that's called Slave Zero X. Ow, 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 you fucker. Stupid zombie. Got to interrupt it. Now, what was it you say, Ultra Friend? I said there's one game that I need to add to my library, and that's Slave Zero X. Yeah, I got that on my wish list. Oh, yeah. Did so you see my? I, the game. Did you see my post that what uh, Pratt's got me yesterday? 
Yeah, I saw it. It looks interesting. Yeah, I've been wanting it for so while. For so long. I'm glad he got it for me. I am like, holy shit. He actually... It wasn't on discount. Like, he literally bought it for me at full price. Apparently, wow. he, gi he gifted me because he had a long... He had a rough week, so I gave him the entertainment he need. Oh, glad he enjoyed the entertainment. Yeah, this is... It, and of course, it's Doom 3. Because Doom 3 is awesome. Yo, Raid, well, you still here? I was like, Raid, you still here? No, you probably get... Probably has not I'll come back. He'll come back and I'll tell him this. So basically, yeah. if you're wondering what that is, it's a it's basically oh. a soul. It's basically like Souls. It's a Souls game. Yeah, I saw some gameplay footages on YouTube. To be fair, I'm gonna... I will want to do it and stream it, because... I want to torture myself with it. Well, I know what I'm what I'm gonna stream and torture myself and it cut and it and it and it costs my mind. That is. Well, after I'm done with MK11, I think I'm gonna start with playing a little puzzle game called the Blue Toad Murder Files Agency. Oh, I thought you were gonna start. I thought you were gonna do Sonic after that. That uh, it's still in, it's still ongoing. But this game is like it's, a, it's really short, so I said to myself, "Hey, let's try something fun and fun and fun." And plus, there's a character in the game that kind of really looks like Doss Father. Oh, good thing he's not there for that. <laughs> or he could be happy. Who knows? Eh, I don't know. You can never tell. Uh, am I excited for the arrival of Stella Blade? Well, the thing is, if it's if it wasn't on PlayStation Five exclusive, if it was also coming to PC, I would if, buy it. Yeah, so do I. I really like the game itself. I saw I saw the gameplay footages on YouTube a bit. Dude, the game looks amazing. Finally, we it got a finally we got a it, South Korean developers make females what they exactly what they should be looking like and piss all these freaks on social media. It almost it almost reminded me a bit of. Um, a bayonetta a bit, almost. But the way how they designed her, the way how uh, how the gameplay is, man, it's a shame that it's only on PlayStation Five exclusive. It really is. It yeah, fun yeah. Eve is a on... waifu material. Yeah, she has that. She has that so goddamn back backstory plot. Oh man, it, it makes me happy. I'm just watching all these websites of the game journalists is losing their minds. It's hilarious. Was that really that important? Yeah, because all the games, like all the games lately, all the women in the West, they look like shit. And then all these people on Twitter are bitching about it. They've been going after the the, the studio in Korea recently. And then tell you, that's an actual the model of the game terrorist is an actual real woman from South Korea, and that's the that's the developer's wife. And that's why they're attacking it because they're jealousy again. They're trying to make it like. Oh, we need to make all the females look shit, guys. Oh, uh, but just watching that whole scenario, it's like, oh, it's superly funny. If that sells, like, if that thing sells, a, like, a good plenty of money, which is probably going to, I will definitely get it if it comes to PC, because I am going to... Ooh. Yeah, I, w I would like to have that game as well. I would like to, I would like to, to stream this one as well. It looks really awesome. And yes, Credo, I, like you, I like just, I say, it's all about the backstory and all the, all the plot. It's all about plot. What I, what I do hope that it doesn't have highest requirements for the PC when they're going to launch it. Probably. Probably. Who well, knows? Who knows, indeed. Oh, by the way, you'll never guess where I'm right now at RoboCop Rogue City. Where? Oh. I'm in jail, man. A prison riot. Oh yeah, you're going. Uh, you're you're going where to where Tononoski escape. Yeah, the clone of Ken Reeves. Well, it's actually well AJ said Rhea Rickman, like that he said. Yeah. But oh, here we go. Untrustable. If you were here, I got the BFG nine thousand. 
Yes, there's the big boy. There it is. <laughs> Come on now, yeah. get your hands up, untrustable. I know you're there. Ah, uh, yes. The big fucking gun is now in my possession. Oh, this is gonna be oh. this is gonna be a beauty. There's a well, downside you know downside about the BFG. Don't don't hold the button too long because this thing can kill you. Really? Yeah. It does a, it, it overpowers it and it can explode and it can kill you. I tried I did that before when I first played it. I did a test of it before. And yeah, it, it, it can kill you. It's like, okay, good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Prove it. I want to see the evidence. Alright. I'm gonna say first. No, no. You okay, tell me no, to Dude, I was kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> Screw it, I'm doing it. No, don't do it. <laughs> Too late! Oh my God, Too late! I did it! Oh my God! You want proof? <laughs> Dude, I was kidding. That was called sarcastic acting. <laughs> Nothing? Really? Oh my God! Ray, would you have done it if I would have told you? Probably. See? <laughs> he said probably. He didn't say one hundred percent sure. Yes, I will. You know he would. I know, Ray. You know, you know it. your expectations and just ran into a wall and shot the rocket launcher into it. <laughs> Trust me, I know the I know the minds of Raid. All right, this locker. No, I don't want control. One sixteen. One sixteen. Nine seven two. Nine seven two. Thank you. Yeah, so you didn't know that 112 is actually the remaining emergency number. <laughs> That's funny, you got 112 is the emergency. Ours is 911. Yours is 911, I know. Or should I say, did somebody call 91? Holy shit! Probably. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's what see what Samuel Creedle Jackson, says. That, that's what Samuel Jackson would, uh, said. Well, let's see. What? They want to make another. The Last of Us 2, they can go and make, uh, get games written and made in California. Not surprising that if they're gonna do another one like that. Come on, man. The last part of us died after 2, so... And plus, Neil Cuckman is a, is a bitch. Besides, if I was gonna play The Last of Us, I would only play the first one. The original. Yeah, so do I. I didn't. I really didn't like the part two of the game. I'll be honest. No, I I never touch it. But oh man, I seen what they did to it. No, uh, but I've seen what they did to it, and to be honest, it's not worth your money, if you ask me. Oh no, a lot of people didn't like it because how they butchered the character in the story. That how the first one was fantastic, and then they butchered the second with all the killing the the main character. One of the few, one of the good characters in the story mode that there's so much shit that a lot of people turn off of it. And plus, people ended up just getting uh, refunds. And I seen the, somebody had a, a video of the guy was in Japan that well, the other games on the other side were sold, but life, well, Ghost of Tsushima was selling like crazy, while The Last of Us Part 2 for PS4 sold like nothing. <laughs> And of course, and of course, my old man then agreed with me that the game sucks, and all because he doesn't want to read the reviews because he doesn't believe in the reviews. He wants to re-experience himself. So I, and I told him, okay, okay. If you want to waste your money. Well, you know, if you want to waste your money like that, then go ahead, waste it. Well, don't listen to me. Well, you know what they say: he paid the soul, he paid the price for it, and then the disappointment. Well, he will pay the piper. Yep. He paid the piper and he get what was coming. Oh yeah, the the Doom the first Doom movie had the good looking BFG too. Uh, to be fair, it's it's not it's not bad. I know a lot of people shit on the the Doom the first Doom movie, and I'm talking about the one with Dwayne the Rock Johnson with it. I mean, it's okay, but it's not that great. But yeah, at least they got the BFG look good with it. Oh oh, speak speaking of movies, has anyone saw the live movie with Woody Woodpecker? No. I didn't either. I wasn't even aware that was a thing. Yeah, me, me neither. Me neither. Me neither. I just saw a few videos on YouTube. Maybe I, I was thinking maybe we could watch it together. 
I mean, I would, but I don't know about raid. I don't know. No, oh, just, uh, just, uh, just asking. You know, I mean, it was just an opinion, nothing more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll oh, send the whipper flying into the air with the rocket. Because uh, the, the way how the movie looked, it looks like how how they created with Sonic movies or Mario. Oh, they did the, the they did uh, the Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, which by the way, uh, in the next two weeks, Knuckles series is gonna be online for yeah. six episodes. Yeah, I heard about that. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, at least it's at least it's canon to connection to the uh, before the third one. But I have I. Well, I shot the plasma. And I shot the zombie in the head with a plasma, and he just goes flinging to the door. That's the thing. They haven't announced who's gonna voice Shadow. They haven't. Uh, no, but they did say when it's gonna be launched. My my guess is probably it's gonna be. My guess is probably they might announce the um, the Sonic voice actor probably at the end of Knuckles, whenever he appears or not. This is the audio log of medical but who knows? We don't know who's going to voice Amy. It's probably going to be the same Amy as last time. You mean the one from the Sonic X? Oh, no. Sonic X, like all the Sonics. No, no. It's, it's that... <sighs> I mean, they could have somebody else, but who knows? Uh, so... But well, at least, at least the third one's gonna be in theaters on before Christmas. Yeah, exactly. I can't wait. Yep, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be taking my nephew to the theaters. We're gonna go see it. If I was there with you, I would go with you too. Well, yeah. Knuckles will be more knucklehead than before. <laughs> <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Remember... Oh my god. Dot, 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 dot. I hear to my condolences and they have a thing called ice cream. Ugh. And the they ice said cream. something about, and they said something that was with sprinkles. Yeah, with sprinkles. <laughs> and I was like, I heard they have a thing called sprinkles. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. like, you've yeah, been living on just, the rock. I mean, I mean, I, I, he was, they were playing baseball, and I, and I am having the fun. What yeah. is ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What is he middle? It's a it, it's like a dessert. Yeah, mm, dessert. Does it have grapes in it? No. Grapes in the ice cream, really? No. Oh. Well, and that oh, there is grape flavored ice cream. Yeah, there is. Oh. <laughs> well, not here in my country. Oh God, there is number number twelve cabinet number one twelve. There's five three eight, but ah uh, well, I had to use the web. As requested. Don't, don't forget, Ultra Friend. Knuckles is one of those ancient tribals that they never stepped foot outside of their region, so they have no clue. But yeah. Well, yeah, that's no excuse, honestly. But yeah, there is a thing. <laughs> but, but yeah, there is a thing of grape ice cream, and I actually had it. It's actually really nice. Mm. You'll like it. Yeah, and, yeah, and then, then, uh, then he went over to the car, and then he said, Ah, my victory chariot. Oh, yeah, damn. your victory chariot. <laughs> uh, and then, and then, then they come. Everybody came to the car and said, "Hey, Sonic! I just heard they had sprinkles." Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I heard. From where, from where tree did you uh, did you fall off? Like, oh. you know where he probably fell off from? From the the mushroom planet. What else? <laughs> or I could say the. Uh, I could say the uh, the from Sonic the Hedgehog 2 game that the coconut tree where the monkey is. Oh. 
<laughs> she didn't exist because we still we still had fun with the cartridge combination. I, yeah, I still remember. I think it was on my stream we talked about it. Yep, it was on your stream. <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. Yeah, it was. It's like the tradition we kept the Spanish Chinese long nose. Which, by the way, we might see him again on Asterix and Obelix left them all too. Oh, so I'll be streaming that oh one shit. as well. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna see that shit again. <laughs> oh, just wait. You're gonna see a lot of other shit before that, before the game. Because, like I said, I want to do it with the Blue Toad Detective Agency. And you're gonna see. A lot of things, just trust me on that. <laughs> yeah. What you're gonna see mostly is my head gonna get hurt. A lot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, um... I don't know when I'm gonna get into Obelisk and, um... Uh, that one. Asterix and Obelix. Uh, Asterix and Obelix. Stuff. Yeah, it's just... I'm trying to... I'm still trying to trying to remember the name is just you know it's not properly over here which is kind of odd yeah it's more of a european thing i mean yeah we do have that over here but that's the thing us in the u.s and, and i think canada does it too it's just the name is different it's still the same name but it's called roman it's called roma oh, so it's a roman uh battle royale which, roman battle royale yeah yeah you guys will say why would you call it that way uh u.s it's a u.s thing with the uh, when it comes to children and whatnot. Yeah, I know. It's the same thing that what happened. Uh, it's the same situation here for me. Well, why they call? Why would you call it Asterix and Obelix XXL one instead of not calling it like the way how the Americans call it? I mean, it's it's useless. It's it's but... it's one of those things. Oh yeah, I yeah. forgot that quote. I forgot to say this for Credo. But Final Fantasy Rebirth is a masterpiece, <laughs> says my normal. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Says Bandai Namco. No, no, Bandai Namco never made Final Fantasy. It was Square Enix. It was Square Enix. I was, I was joking. <laughs> That'll be funny though. Bandai makes Final Fantasy. I blame it all on Bungie. Yeah, it will be blame it on Bungie. Yeah. <laughs> I blame it on Bungie. Yep, yeah, Bungies. Oh yeah, did you see, uh, say, Ray, did you see what's going on with Crapcom? <laughs> I know you won't care for it, but the... I can only imagine. They're going, they're going full woke with all their shit. Yeah, imagine, my, imagine my shock. Yeah, not, imagine my shock. It's like, we know, we know this was coming because, uh, because the leaks were leaked out like four years ago. And Chris Grum, I'm actually, I've actually been kind of following this guy named Grums. You know him? I know who Grums is. Yeah, he's been he's been keeping up the good work lately with all the yeah, shit. I I I, I paid, paid paid a lot of attention to what Grums uh, says. Yep, he's been around a long time. Yeah, he's been around. He also made the War of World of Warcraft, if I recalled it. He's been involved in a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that guy that guy's a legend. He's been doing. He's been pretty based lately. He's always been based. Just like Habu, I've been following uh, Colonel Colonel Otaku Gatekeeper as well. I've been following him as well. Because he actually lives in Japan and Yokohama. So he's been keeping up with what shit's going on in Japan lately. Oh god, these stupid whippers. I'm playing on hard mode, aka marine mode, but these guys can still kick my ass. Alright. Yeah, so, um, why, if you guys are still watching the stream, anybody's still here, uh, playing Doom 3 Source Port, don't forget, um, there's a, there's a voting going on that I have it on my community channel. Uh, so far, we already got two, twelve, we already got twelve people. Voted so far. Uh, so far, the results are still the same. Uh, Diablo Games has got 50 votes, and Blood and a current ultra friend throwing a fit. <laughs> My 
mind if I drop in for a while? Hey, Credo. Welcome, hey, welcome. Credo Skywalker. Welcome, welcome. And uh, Blood Rain is about, uh, what was it, 28, 33% vote of Blood Rain Thermal Cop 1 and 2. Yay, yay, hooray, hooray. <laughs> But, sorry, man, but I gotta vote. But I gotta, but I gotta pick my favorites. Yeah, like I say, you gotta pick your favorites. But it looks like it's probably not gonna happen. But uh, looks like it's gonna definitely be. It's gonna be pretty guaranteed. It's gonna be Diablo. Boo! Again, <laughs> a big fat boo. That's what it gets. Not boo from Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. That's for sure. But and who you know what? That's the kind of boo you're gonna get. I still yeah, love that can, meme. I still love can, that meme and, that I and found. You can it. keep him, and you can keep him. I yeah. I still love that meme that someone made, that over nine thousand, but someone put a face of Adolf Hitler on Vegeta's face, and it says it over oh, nine thousand. It says oh. it's over nine 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 <laughs> nine thousand. <000. laughs> By the way, guys, I'm sorry, but I have to get this out of my chest. It's not only confusing, but you know what really pissed me off about the ending of Rebirth? Oh, uh, yeah, you already told me this about there's a channel. They, they really changed the whole ending on that one. But I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna do a massive spoiler, so if you don't mind me, talk about it. Oh, uh, I don't care, because I'm not gonna buy it anyway, so. <laughs> okay, so. Do you remember that iconic shot where. Cloud was raising his sword to attack Ares. Uh, yeah, okay, I remember I'm, that. I'm yeah, back. yeah, I remember I'm that. Back. When in Rebirth, uh, when you enter, when you before enter the Forbidden Capital, you see the goddamn Whisperers coming back. Uh, I don't know why they had to add the Whispers back. Well, to put it simply. That's right. It's let's say the whispers when, were in the. Um, I think it's been so long since I played seven in the original. I think they had they had the whispers in the original. I don't think they had the whispers. No, they it don't. In, I gotta have to. First I, I gotta have to look. I gotta have to look that back and see if if they did or not. It's it's been so long since I touched Final Fantasy seven the original. But yeah, so they said they they added with the whispers and apparently they alternated. They alternated Eris' death. And of course, they, they don't even fucking show the Eris' death being killed by Sephiroth. Let me explain that uh, properly. First, I'm gonna start from the basics. We have three timelines. The timeline, uh, first, the timeline where Zack is alive. Second, the original Final Fantasy VII timeline. And the third is the remake's uh, timeline. Sephiroth's ultimate goal is to merge those timelines and uh, send the meteor, meteor uh, upon that timeline so he can absorb the energy and he became a god. Yeah, that definitely sounds like something out of a fan fiction someone would do. <laughs> that's, a, that's basically what all that remake and all that things they do, Credo. It's all basically fan fiction. This is like... This is not like the canon to the original one, but it's more fan fiction, but rewritten it in a really be terrible way. And that's not even the worst part of it. Like I said to you in DM and Zempek. Oh, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. I pretty, I've seen it all worse what they did with Remake. Now I'm seeing, saying this to Ultrafin and the Raid. Well, in the Remake... In the river, we see the cloud parries uh, Sephiroth's sword, saving Alice's life. And then we see those green parents, and apparently we switch back and forth between the timeline where Alice was killed and the timeline where Alice was saved. And I was like, what the fuck am I watching? I was so pissed. That was cringe. It's basically called... It's called cringe, that's what it is. Day. I mean it. It, oh, it was bond it was bond to happen. It was bond to happen how they were butchering it. Besides oh, but of course Square Enix it's the thing is it's not surprising for me because Square Enix is under the they're under ESG money by BlackRock, so it's not surprising. Yeah, 
Well, considering that uh, Rebirth Sword worse than Dark of Cerberus, we can see why. Oh yeah, because their cells sucked on Japan. But the cells and the Rebirth sucked in Japan. It's only like 200,000 plus compared to the remake. Why the remake sold decently, Rebirth sold poorly, and not even counting the digital copy said that was bought. Well, that's the thing, because the reason why people are saying it's a rem the thing about that being a masterpiece, it's 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 all the normies. That's all. Like real fans of the of the actual Final Fantasy VII, they wouldn't even recognize it. They didn't any of them care for it because you know that that it was gonna be shit. So let me let me decently t say, continuing the ending, when they turned the most emotional moment in Final Fantasy VII into a ten fucking face boss battle. Doing yeah, not surprising. Boss... Yeah, it's not surprising. One of those boss battles when <clears throat> during one of those we meet up with Zack, and uh, after that boss fight, yeah, we march on. Uh, and then uh, during the final boss fight, we see Iris again. No, that's not, that's not how it happened. Because Eris got killed by Sephiroth, you fight Genovo. I think it was either Genovo of death or Genovo of life. And then after that, then Cloud, Cloud and the party, they took her to the river and they drop her down to the ocean. That never happened. Mm. That re the whole re that whole we brought back from the dead thing, that's just, that's all fiction. That's all fan fiction nonsense. That's and not, it's here, not canon. That's why I call it bullshit. And here comes the messed up part. One, only Cloud can see and communicate with Alice. Second, Alice stays in the Forbidden Capital so she can continue the praying. Yeah, but that does not even happen in the original. That's a thing. He never sees her at all. And three, the worst part of this bullshit is that it was confirmed by the devs that it doesn't doesn't fucking matter where Alice is. Sephiroth always kills her, so it was kind of pointless to make that uh, screen telling bullshit. They tell you, they they always make pointless decisions with that. That's why. That's just telling them that. That's just basically telling everyone that how completely out of touch they are with compared to the original uh, successors, so the predecessor. Sorry, Zenpact, by the way, I'm still fucking pissed off. Yeah, you're doing the whole Ruby thing. Yes, I know. I know I talked about it, but I'm giving you a volume 9 spoilers, by the way. In yeah, and half of us, even I would say we don't really don't give a shit, because we all know that we... I know, but... Final Fantasy okay. died... Final Fantasy already died since after 12, and that was the... Like, after, after 12, 13 was the downfall. Was the beginning of the downfall for the franchise I itself. Still would, I still would give uh, 13 a shot. Well, I haven't touched 13 yet, so. Oh, right, oh, uh, right, left. Give it a shot. <laughs> I still would give it a shot because, uh, by the way, uh, Sarah is my waifu. I will have lightning as the waifu. Well, Tiff, you know Tifa's mine, right? Then I can keep Ares, correct? Dude, I, I used to like Ares, but then I got fucking annoyed with her character. Well... How, how about you guys don't keep anything? Thing is, I don't give a shit. Because I really don't give a shit about Ares, because I know that Ares... Uh, man, there's a lot of, there's a lot of shit with her lately, because I knew she... Has, she was not in love with Cloud. <laughs> yeah. We all know... That's the one who, own, who owns Cascade. The thing is with Eris, she was already she already loved Zack from the beginning because everyone thought like she was gonna be in love with Cloud. No, that's not the thing. Cause everyone who played the before Crisis Final Fantasy, she was already in love with Zack than Cloud. Oh, and by the way, there are some people who say, uh, but that was lovely seven years ago." And that that that's because they never played the they never played the original. That's just telling you they have no idea what they're talking about. They're normies. They're normies. They really never un they never actual played the original series of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, this is just, just to way, tell you that, that how brain dead they are. By the way, they're coomers. Quit. Raid quit or he crashed out. No, he probably had to go because he had to probably do stuff. 
Oh. He probably has to. There, it's just ever since he's got you know diabetic, he has to change a lot of things going on. Let me tell you what's in my book. If you want your audience to cry over Alice's death, then keep yourself to the original source material and kill her off, plain and simple. Yeah, do what the, they, they just should have done what the what the original did, but no. It's like cry me up the fucking river, man. But if you commit to the changes, like saving Alice, then I have this scenario in my head that after Cloud Perry the sword, they have a dialogue that Sephiroth says that puppets cannot control their own fate. Alice stands up and the he stands aside, the stands us side by side. The, the Cloud and tells uh, Sephiroth that this is wrong. They defy destiny. Have the other show up. So we can have Sephiroth as the final boss. We don't need this damn face boss bullshit or do both scenarios because it just confuses the audience, emotionally manipulates them, and uh, baits them with nostalgia. But you know that the Sephiroth in the original Final Fantasy, he is the final boss, right? Yeah, I kind of uh, know that. That's 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 why he's the antagonist. I mean, uh, I'm so glad I don't give a shit about the remake or any of this shit because I know that Final Fantasy is already dead since after thir since after 13 started to go downfall. Uh, I can see that the only way you could care about a remake is the all 34 stuff. The only thing I care about is that that game sucks. That's all that matters. I mean, I'm sorry that I'm ranting and raging, but I still. I need to get this all out of my chest because otherwise I'll go insane. You, that, that you need to take the you need to take the chill pill, bro. Yeah, I know. But when Stellar Blade comes, I'm gonna take that to huge I'm not, doses of pill. I'm not touching it because if it's PlayStation exclusive, I'm not touching it. Yeah, yeah. me neither. Because I'm not. Plus, the thing is, I'm already not. I'm I'm already not giving money to Sony anymore. Regardless that they got a new president, I'm still not giving them money. Plus, uh, plus, uh, plus, it will cost like shit for the PlayStation Five exclusive. And oh it yeah, cost a lot. Oh yeah, so it's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it because if you're buying a five hundred dollar PC in the box, because that's pretty much it. It's it's a downgraded PC in the on another in the box, and they and I love I love how these PlayStation fanboys are complaining about. Oh, well, you don't need like hundred fifty. FPS, bro. I mean, 30 is fine. And then, like, when the the new ones comes out and it looks like shit, it's like, oh, Uncle Boy would not get any 60 FPS. I just don't understand. Well, if you would have had a high power PC, then you would have seen the difference. That's why we've been telling you idiots in the first place. But no, Pleb, but would they? Uh, they would understand. They would never understand. That's no. the problem here. Yeah, consumers will coo Coomers will consume. That's what they would do. They keep giving PlayStation excuses. All the, They keep giving that 30 FPS excuses. Back then, that was a different story. But nowadays, not so much. Besides, I'm not paying 500 bucks just to get exclusives. Why not? If it doesn't come to PC, then I just don't care for it. Yeah, exactly. It's the same, it's the same shitty situation that happened with... Uh... Uh, with Marvel Spider-Man that happened and now that's uh, and, and with God of War and now with Ghost of Tsushima Nobody really cared about buying these games for the play for the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 because they really wanted to see this game on the p actual PC Yeah, but you know me I had to get it because I didn't have a popular computer at the time that was back in the day That was back. Yeah, two years ago It's been like two years now since I'm but, gonna, but I'm gonna buy it again, it's gonna come to PC, so I'll do it again. Exactly. I mean, I'm just I'm I uh, I have now all the all the, both Marvel Spider-Man games, both the first one and Miles Morales. So basically, I would play them. But why do people are still considering that Spider-Man uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales is actually a DLC? Because it's not a DLC; it's a separate disc CD. That's the thing they have. That that the whole thing about that Ultra Pin is they have no idea what they're doing. 
they do, they, and they still don't. That's kind of the problem here. They still don't get what they're doing. Hey, what's up, I mean, Slippy? I, I mean, uh, hey, Slippy, how's it going, man? I mean, people got so confused. Everybody keeps saying, no, this is a DLC content. How can this be a DLC content since I bought this disc separate? This is different. Different game. Okay, maybe two hours of gameplay, but still different. If this would have been a DLC content, it would have been on the game itself with all the with the gaming season pass with all three with the that came with that came before and this one but they didn't no and plus miles morales has no dlc content whatsoever yeah they put they butchered that game i'll be fair they really butcher it yeah they really did it's like me saying it's it's kind of like me saying miles morales should be his own character, not Spider-Man, to be fair. Mm. To me, like, for me, Miles Morales should not be the second Spider-Man. Like, we got too many Spider-Mans. There should only be one, and that's Peter Parker. Miles Morales, should he be his own character, not be Spider-Man or anyone else? He should be his own fucking character. Yeah, yeah, the same thing, the same thing that we talk about for Batman as well. But the thing is, uh... I don't know why, but I think Marvel is copying the uh, ba uh, Batman series because they saw that Batman's getting older and you sooner or later he had to retire or they're never and somebody and somebody would have to take his place. That's why they created this series with Batman Beyond and Terry McGinnis fit the boot to be the Batman. So basically, uh, these guys who created Spider-Man, I think they're copying from Batman and they say, hey, maybe once we might, uh, Peter may get older or he doesn't want to be, Sp or he doesn't have time to be Spider-Man and he doesn't want to disappoint leaving Mary Jane alone. So let's add another character who can be Spider-Man and they added Miles Morales. Yeah. Are they so out of creativity by the way? Well, kind of. I mean, think about it, man. How many movies or anime have been copied from one another? They're they're mil That's the thing. They're milking it. They're they're so desperate for it. But the thing is, their comic books are not selling. And uh, I was meant to sing it, guys. The Dead Space 2 remake has been cancelled, by the way. Oh, good. Good. Dead Space 2 remake? Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Thank God. Thank God. Go. Good no riddance to Yeah, no more remakes. No more remastered. The first one was already bad enough. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe now they will focus on their minds and and really try to create Dead Space 4. To continue what the bullshit has happened from the Dead Space 3. Because I'm still really pissed about that. Andy. But the, the studio who did Dead Space, they it got shut down years ago. Trust me, I wanted the fourth Dead Space, but then hearing this third one and they shut down the Red Redwood Studios that were work that they were working on it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is what my colon used to look like. Uh, <laughs> it's not your colon. That it used to. It trust me. It used to look like that. In real life. I made a joke with it because first time I had that issue, it, it sucked. If you would look into mine, you would find emptiness. Dude, you if you seen what used to be like nine years ago, oh trust me, it looked fucked. It looks exactly like that. And that is that that's a sign like that's not good. But anyways, I don't want to talk about it. Because one thing about uh, Rebirth, you know what? Uh, yeah, you're going to bed soon, Slippy. Yeah, he's been he's been doing a lot of stuff lately. He's gonna be taking a break from stream again. Uh, poor Slippy. Well, the thing is, he wants to focus on sports events. He said he's gonna be off streaming from May to October. <laughs> By the way, someone called Rebirth there. I already saw they they, they want to consider it as a remaster, but I'm like, that's just normies. That's just all these yeah. game journalists and nonsense. No. And I'm all not that talking shit. about the, the usual quote. I'm talking about someone else, by the way, who said that the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is the Final Fantasy version of The Last Jedi. Who said that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe S someone. some weird, some weirdo YouTuber who's a fanboy of it. No, 
Oh, I don't care. I, I, I just don't give a shit. No, I'm uh, thinking. I'm talking about that uh, stuff that uh, the last Jedi literally tore the fandom apart. Well, the thing is, all the fan, all the OG fandoms, they're all, they're all left. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's yeah. just, and, and to me, I just like, I just don't give a shit. And the, let's not talk. <laughs> sorry, and let's not talk about that. Somehow, Palpatine is back. That's uh, I, I just, yeah, it's just like I just don't care about stuff anymore. I just, I, I just already, it's already dead for me for years. That's why I'm kind of like, I'm just gonna stick to the original OG, and that's that. I just don't care about anything else. That is that the OG won't die. Oh no, the OG will be around because the thing is, when you have the OG itself, it would never die. Trust me, it will be even you like you want to get it on ROMs, it will be transferred on the web, and it's there. Trust me. It will be. It would never die. They will butcher it on their newer systems, but if you have the original ones and so on, so on, you don't have to worry about that. Flip. <laughs> Naked half Bernie man goes flip. He's going yeet. No, 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 no. Never show that again. <laughs> oh yeah, the good time of Dead Space. Where I yeet myself to the floor to the ceiling. <laughs> Isaac, God, I love that. I love that floor so much. I love seeing the yeet. You know what I should have done? I should have let you guys see the death scenes of every every kills I got. I get murdered by the necromorphs. I still, I still enjoy the bit of Dead Space three when we changed our what armor. The... <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Did you see what the zombie what did? The... The so did you see what the zombie just did? I, I wish I could say nay. The zombie just thought I would lie my ass. He just bugged it for a second. I don't know, Credo. Yeah. I've been Prax has been kind of pushing me like this. He keeps bugging me. You should get the remake of Dead Space. Uh. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think in Credo's mind he likes to say. Shh. Oh man, no way. Yeah, it's like I already owned the first Dead Space. It's just man, that version. I mean, yeah, they got a lot of cringe in it. I mean, there's some good positive scene, like the gameplay looks good. But man, that stuttering issue on that thing is this no. Uh, also, I, in the remake, you can get the four finger gun if you complete the impossible difficulty. But impossible difficulty works like this. If you die once, you have two options. Yeah. Either reset the entire game, yeah. or continue, but it switches to hard difficulty. Yeah, and plus, yeah, it's the plus, same. It's the... And, go ahead, go ahead. And plus, the saving mechanism is does not exist. Yeah, you it's it's the same. It impossible. It's, no, you cannot save at all. It's the same shitty situation that happened with Batman. Yeah, it's a... and Arkham games. If you play on Arkham City, for example, if you play on the hardest city, well, no, not, not on Arkham City, on Arkham Origins. On Arkham Origins, it happened. Uh, you finish the game like twice, okay? Like the normal difficulty and the new game plus mode, right? And then you have another difficulty mode that you can get an achievement for it. But, uh, but here's the catch. There are no savings whatsoever. And when the enemy hits you, you die instantly. Yeah, that's one hit. Oh, yeah, one it's hit called and you're one, it's... one hit and you're dead. Yeah, it's and called the one only, shot and movement. Only, and you have only like two choices. We start the entire level from the beginning, like beginning, beginning, because there's no saving whatsoever. Okay, that was stupid or, of me. Or second, delete your save file and start the game from scratch with the other difficulty than that. Yeah, that's basically oh. what Ultra Friend said. It's called. He would definitely agree with me. It's called doing the one shot gameplay. Yeah, exactly. And I that's, mean, I say, fuck. How, I say, fuck like, that, because that's bullshit. It. Screw it. It's so, it's bullshit and it's crazy. How can you play a game like that in one shot? Nobody's that good. Uh, if you're very competitive about that, yeah. Look at the freaking Asian. It's like, let's have a Chinese or South Korean play it. They will definitely do it. Or anyone in general. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even. I would even do it because I know that uh, that is a no-no, and plus the mental stress would just get me insane. 
by the way, is impact. Yo. I'm not sure. About... Yes, go on, go on, Sorry. go on, Sugar Bear. Sorry. Uh, meanwhile, I was uh, being yelled, yelled at my brother, but uh, not uh, literally because I was speaking too loud. Uh, sorry. Just a. Creole, you need a. You probably should consider buying yourself your own apartment, brother. You ever uh... thought of? You ever thought about that? I know it's. I know it's kind of a not for me to ask here, but. Well. I could, but. Apartments are fucking expensive. Yeah, okay, yeah, I get ya. Trust me. I've wanted to do it too, but at least I'm. You know, I'm not gonna go into details. Let's just say I'm in the same boat, but you know what? I'm gonna switch things around. But yeah. we do it privately, so, chat, not here in the stream. Yeah, so let's go back to what I was meant to say. You asked me before that how did I manage to run the extraction point without crashing, correct? Yeah, that was a that was the thing. I like how you managed to do it. Like the you, thing is, because you 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 saw me. I was trying to get the. I was at the final part when I was doing the uh, the attraction point. And then my whole my whole fucking computer in the game just froze up and I couldn't access to it. I can't close it out. I can't do any of that because it just crashed my entire system. I couldn't even access to it. Do you remember that the other five stuff I was mentioning regarding the first? Oh yeah, that's how the, that's how you prevent it from crashing. That probably probably what because probably because I uh, copy path copy path copy the drive the DL file to the. Extraction point and PCOS mandate as well. Oh, you copied the main Dane file to it. See, I, it would we'll probably work on. It will work on your computer, but I don't know about mine because my modern system. Because trying to get that thing to run in a modern system is a pain in the ass, and it's just not worth the frustration. Well, but you didn't lose too much with the ending of the extraction. Yeah, and the thing is. Yeah, I hate cutting up, but the thing is, I'm actually kind of glad I skipped them because those are not canon, and plus they're not connected to the main. Uh, main story of fear. Yeah, it was confirmed by Monolith then says. Well, yeah, because also Alex the Rat told me about that. Yeah, but when you play Fear 2, we gotta get the. Uh, yeah, Fear 2. Yeah, I'm, 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 really, I'm willing to play Fear 2. Because I, I love I love Fear 2. Because I played it, I played on the Xbox 360, and I, I still like it. By the way, how the hell ghosts can get pregnant? I know Alma is uh, not an ordinary ghost girl, but still, what the fuck? I don't know. There's a story apparently he's like, she's supposed to be some sort of paranormal and stuff. To me, that like that part right there, that that kind of got me so confused. When the part when the when the part that she has sex with the main character Joseph, Michael Joseph, that's his main, that's his character. And I'm like, okay, how? Like, okay, you're fighting, you're you're going up against the uh, final bosses, or you're fighting a bunch of soldiers. And plus, in the real world, Alma is just simply just raping you when you're in the dream world. And then after all that, and then all of a sudden you came out and she's all pregnant. And like, th this got me so confusing. It got me all this confusion. And it's like, okay, like, what what what's the scenario here? Yeah, you just stand there, watch, and you're like. What the fuck did I just watch? Well, it's just like, okay, and then the story is this... What... So what's the story mean? It's like... Is there a details of it? What am I missing? Like, my, my, my brain just literally just... My brain just literally just shut down after pretty much everything. Alright, I need to look at my code. I need to look up the game's code for a second. Give me a second. Uh, was it? 103? Is it 103? Yes. Locker is 103, yes, yes. Well, by the way, you don't have to worry about Rebirth because I'm not gonna touch on it. Don't. I was like, dude, just just stick to the OG of Rebirth. Just, 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 I would say, I hate to say this in a dream, but just calm your tits, just stick to the OG, and just pretend that one does not exist. Anyways, I, man, I, I think a lot of people left because of my off-topic. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Sorry about that. No worries. <laughs> hey, Chris, you want to hear a joke? Yeah. 
Yeah, hit me. One <laughs> more time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you insist. Uh, well, uh, Zen already knows it, but <laughs> I'll tell you what some people may not know it, so I'll tell it to you. So there's a guy going to, uh, to his a dentist appointment, right? Yeah. Okay, the dentist is checking on the poor lad, and he's, uh, he says to open it up, and he's saying, Man, uh, a normal person would have only 42 teeth. Uh, you, on the other hand, had, and the patient says, 83. But the rest of the 51 teeth, uh, teeth uh, is in mine. They're my uncles. The fuck? <laughs> Don't, yeah, because they were fake. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I'm just like, I'm sorry. What did you say? Yeah. It's like, what did you say? Hey, don't don't uh, don't blame this on me. Blame the prankster. He's the one who invented this joke, not me. I was say, okay, so it's it's a it's a Romanian joke. No, no. It belongs to you guys. Oh, from us. Okay. <laughs> well, I only translated in Romanian. Okay. By the way, when I heard the KSK hit MK11. All I was thinking about is modular speaking. Whoa, someone throw a dead... A dead scientist to the wall? Welcome to bloody IO5. Uh, and that scientist is just... Uh, I'm just gonna check out. Hold on, someone's calling me. By the way, also, friend, do you have the... Goku and Bardock unit? No. I'm, I'm definitely wanted them, but I still haven't got them. I'm only close on getting to. I need to get to uh, 100 and uh, 100 and something of the crystals. All right, guys, I'm gonna go for a BRB. I gotta take the dog out. Who cares me? Someone had told me to. So mm, I'll bring it back. Worry, take, take your time. Don't worry, Sam. Take your time. Oh yeah, I need, I need 100 and a few more of the crystals to get, so I can do the the first summoning. Then, then, then the free and the free summoning, and then I don't know what's happening after that. I really got no clue if I'm gonna get that character, those two characters, or not. Did you do those uh, unit specific uh, special battles at the special uh, section? Those grant you 50 CCs. No, I did not buy that package. No, not I'm not talking about but a package. Uh, I'm gonna enter the game. Oh, you mean the special levels? Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna tell you what I mean. I mean, are you, I mean, you're talking about you're talking about the special level on the special missions, right? That requires the specific characters to get to gain fifty or more crystals. Yes, uh, I was talking about. Yeah. That. Yeah, I did that, but unfortunately, I need more stars to some characters to rank them up to maximum if I want to do the final part. Uh, yeah, I get the. Feeling. Or even more, even more specific, I need more stars for the final two new Zamasu and Black Goku with the blue elements, because I need more stars on that those two characters so I can gain more crystals from that part as well. Which, good luck on that. Cool, that's a laugh, buddy. Uh, it is. And I'm still on that the thesis that I absolutely refuse to do PvP. I'd rather not do that because I don't wanna... I, it's bad enough that uh, I waste my energy on Call of Duty Mobile. But PvP or Dragon Ball Legends, you should have I seen how, how many crazy players you can actually cross with. Oh, dude, don't remind me. I got a bunch of players that got the connections like you wouldn't believe. I can barely can make a move to make a dodge. Yeah, that uh, pisses me off uh, as well. They not let you move. I only, I, I really don't, don't like the PvP, but I don't have much of a choice. If I want to get more crystals, I gotta do it. They should have kept the ultra space time in a way, in the old ways. It granted you some CCs. I used to farm them in the old days. But no, some idiot uh, thought that let's do Zenkai Rush. What could possibly go wrong? 
everything. Yeah, Zenkai Rush. Oh my god, don't remind me of that one. That's really another uh, shitty thing that's happening right now with that game. I mean, huh, you need the you need first the specific requirement uh, characters to do that Zenkai to do that Zenkai Rush, right? So you can uh, uh, obtain all the crystals in the world. But here's the thing: there's one character that's not on my list. How do you expect me to do all things with with one one less character that I don't have? Yeah. And I'm talking about the Ultra Freeze, the Golden Freezer. Ugh, I didn't even got him. <laughs> me neither. I mean, dude, it was loading, and it showed me that th that uh, Goku turned into Super Saiyan Blue, and the rainbow. Was uh, w was displayed on the on the rush uh, or pool? Yeah, it's uh, it was full uh, rainbow. Then... So that means uh, so that means oh, I'm guaranteed. I'm gonna get the ultra. I'm gonna get the ultra, and guess what I got? Nothing. Oh, nothing. 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 Zero. No, rainbow means uh, guaranteed. Lengthens limited. Uh, usually it guarantees also ultra character as well, but. When for ultra characters, you probably have to get a special animation like Trunks uh, coming and they go with they go with the father son Gary gun. Or no, I wouldn't say that, but uh, it doesn't matter anymore either way. When anyway, it's a cause loss. The only last my last all summoning that I got was ultra was the legendary finisher pick uh, orange piccolo. Oh. And don't you love idiots who comes with a bad connection at the co-op? Oh my god, don't remind or, me. Or uh, I even, dude, I even had the worst co-op players uh, who, I, who I played with right now. Oh my god, these guys don't know when to switch their characters. Dude, it's up, dude, you need to switch with the other one. It's rightly clear. You can't just keep going on with the same one that you are right now. But no, he didn't switch at all. And also, I didn't uh, reach the rush mode yet. But for, and th and this idiot uh, couldn't wait anymore, and he and he activated the rush on his own. Yeah, I get that the same vibes. By the way, there are some idiots who like uh, you carry it for me. I am. Oh, and the here's another worst part. I uh, when I get co-op with somebody, they don't have the exact characters that is really needed. I mean, really? You expect me to do all the hard work and you just like sit there and watch? Uh-uh, not happening, man. Yeah, I hate that too. They're not bringing the characters that will get the bonuses. They're just uh, coming, coming in with whatever the fuck they want. And they expect you to carry it. They expect you to do it all for them, that's the problem, but come on, man. That's bull. Uh, do you play, do you do the Tournament of Power? Yeah, of course I do. They give, they, they, they guaranteed to give you 200 uh, uh, of Chrono Crystals at the end. When, or even more than that. Depends on what... I'm at the Z League, by the way. You're at the Z? Yes. Three ultra characters. I don't believe this. Limited. I don't believe this. How do can I reach to the Z link? Because I'm pretty trying to get my ass. All I could get is to A. Because you have to choose the harder battles. I you kept choosing the harder battles, but dude, I also need to get to to get them to uh, to recover their health. I can't just keep going on battle. Yeah, sure, but my team is perfectly fine for that statement. When I have the Ultra Vegito Blue, Ultra Super Vegito, Ultra Gogeta. A fully Zenkai, fully upgraded the Super Vegito. Uh, fully up Zenkai, fully upgraded the Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4. And the Zenkai 5, level, level 5, Vegito Blue. Oh, by the way, do you do the other thing of... Um... Uh, there was a, uh, uh, there's another upgrade on your on your characters. The you other the, one that you mean the arts boost. Yeah, 
I do that uh, on Dude, occasion. but it cost but it cost you a lot of zenny. Well, it's not just zenny. Um, yeah, I know. It's also the it's also the elements of the soul boost and all that. I know that part, but mostly Zenny cost a lot. I mean, okay, I am honestly I am relieved that now I can spend some Zenis and don't have to have. All yeah, I know. I get. The okay, feeling. I can get that, but dude, spending that much on the on the first shot like that, come on, the, uh, the, isn't a bit of exaggeration, dude? Yeah, I know. I know how is it feeling, but let me, uh, let me, meanwhile I'm gonna check on something, sorry about that. Well, managed to get, uh, I'm gonna finish this right now, equip card to God Tier. It's, the first one is in yellow, likely it's uh, almost uh, perfect, but uh, the others are in uh, Red. In what was the red? red? Yeah, I'm gonna. Just a second. I'm gonna send the picture of what I was talking about in DM. Here. Uh, so, so you can see how much uh, CCs I have. <laughs> oh my God! Are you are you kidding me? How do, well, it's called patience, auto fan. Got patience, huh? Got patience, huh? Oh God, I'm gonna go show you patience. <laughs> you the. Uh, uh, I'm gonna take you to a doctor, and they was gonna, and the doctor will say to you that he's got patience with no patience. He's got no patience with his patience. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> also, well, let's just see. I have an uh, almost perfect card for the ultra black Goku. I say almost perfect because the strike defense is at uh, almost thirty percent. Oh, you mean the rose? Yeah. Concentrate that fury, the card's name. Mm. Yeah, it's. I don't. I really, I really hate this. Uh, that uh, you have to do PvP. Or you have to sub you have to pay through the nose if you want more CCs. And I'm gonna Yeah, but even if you pay your money for to get the crystals, it won't solve any goddamn thing to be honest. Yeah, it's not guaranteed that you get the get the characters you want. Well I just gonna tell you that there is this monthly pack in my country it's almost a 20k hoof. Which is roughly... I don't know, it's 70 dollars or something? I'm not, uh, not entirely sure on that. I know that uh, 4,000 uh, hoof is like 10 dollars. I mean, I'm sorry that I'm talking about currencies, but I have to, I have to be this uh, calculating if I want to get something. Call of Duty Mobile eats my money most of the times, but there is an occasion that uh, I pay into other games like Action Time Money. Yeah. Or uh, even other lane. And by the way, <laughs> we apologize, but Zenpek and I are just men of cultures. We love waifus. Uh, anyways, which uh, ultra characters you don't have, by the way? 
<laughs> oh, do you want me to make a list? Well, I, I don't have three ultras. Broly, Kalemba, and the Golden Freezer. And I have all, all, almost all of them. Well, besides the three that uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the three that you mentioned, I don't have Ultra Vegito Blue. I don't have uh, 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 who's it? Gogeta Ultra. I don't Wh have him either. Wh which one, Gogeta Blue or Super Gogeta? Uh, both. <laughs> and, uh, Both. And usually I complain about uh, how unlucky I am. Oh really? Do you think you, you think uh, you think you could you could, you're the only one who uh, who is very really unlucky? Look at me. I don't have all the ultra characters that I want, and I've been and I've been working my my butt trying to grind the crystals, trying to make the summonings, and what do I get? Nothing. Nothing. I get that feeling. Well, from the Legends Limited characters, I don't have the Goku from the Dragon Ball movie called Path to Power, the sec second Legends Limited Beast Gohan who can transform. Oh, uh, even the Ultra Goku. Uh, speaking of Goku, even the Ultra Goku I don't have with the mark of the instinct. Oh, you mean it's sign Ultra Instinct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The newest one that they celebrated its appearance and all that that they appear and I wanted to get him. Nothing. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. By the way, I was uh, mentioning how did I got him. You know, it was kind of unexpected because when I saw the purple orb, you know, the X for the extreme, extreme character, I was uh, expecting the extreme character, but I wasn't uh, seeing the skip button. I just saw it turning into an ultra orb. God, I wish I recorded it. It was probably the most unexpected way to get Goku. Same way to Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. No. Uh. That, that's how I got him too. In the most unexpected oh. luck. But he is the most, but to be honest, he is the most annoying character in the game. You mean the Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan? No, the Ultra, yeah, the Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, yeah, it's really annoying, honestly. You hit him, you hit him with your blast, and you try to, do, and you don't have any more blasts. You're gonna have to go towards him and use your melee attacks, but he counters it all the time. You haven't seen how Kanemba is cheap. Oh, Kanemba is the same situation, man. He can teleport him. Yeah, and use the ultra, and use it, and use his ultimate move. <sighs> and don't even talk, don't even make uh, the Go Goku. You mean the ultra instinct? Ultra, he, yes. He can cancel the. He can cancel the cover change. He can cancel the cover change, but. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, he cannot win against uh, the the mastery of Ultra Instinct Goku when they're doing when there's a draw in the in the in the power in the melee. Mm, he uh, the, the, the Ultra the Ultra Goku cannot win against Mastery Ultra Instinct on that battle because, because Ultra uh, because the Mastery always wins automatically. Yes, it's uh, it's in his ability that he automatically wins that. Uh... Exactly. My farts always wins. <laughs> oh, God, oh, come on, man. Really? Was that really necessary? I came in and then you said about the winning and I'm like, all right, I'm just going to. I'm just going to say my farts always wins. <laughs> Beats Wario's. But I'm back. <laughs> yeah, the. Hello Zenpeg, welcome back. <sighs> also Finn and I were discussing Dragon Ball Legends. Isn't that the that's a gacha that's a gacha one, isn't it? From mobile? Yeah yeah. We were talking about uh, our progresses and everything else. I keep thinking it's like does Ultimate's like oh wait, he plays that on mobile. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's the only Dragon Ball game I play on the mobile phone. 
Yeah, Danny's talking and about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Links. Yeah, that's just kind of funny about that. I yeah, just need to check up real quick, and then I'll switch back. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Let's see. Do I miss anything? Nope. Okay. Not exactly. I'm still. It took the reason why it took me a little bit longer. I'm still. Um, I'm actually still in the middle of doing my laundry, so please excuse me for that. Uh, no worries. By the way, Zempek, <laughs> I really fear for the fact that he goes through the toughest shit ever. <laughs> And a lot of I'm people, sure, wait, who? Uh, I was talking about Velvet. Oh, oh, you mean Velvet? Yeah, she went through so much. Yeah, for Tales of Azaria, yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. She, 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 uh, they really made it until, like, complete the vengeance and then actually finally killed the man that she, she pretty much betrayed. But that, you've seen the results. That was basically her brother. Her brother, uh, it was her brother Lapras and uh, Artrius. Yeah, Lafset, and the uh, well, because well, Lafset is uh, also the other character name that Albert may named. But yeah, it was a uh, Lafset and um, Artrius, because it was actually Lapras's idea because he also volunteered to pretty much become pretty much the new god for him and it actually prevent him from him from dying from about twelve year ill sickness. And after learning the truth, yeah, she got betrayed both for her brother and uh, her, basically what he called her, like, her own, like, personal brother. Like a brother figure. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I know that, I know that we also have a different sense. I would, I would play oh, it on Oh, boy. <laughs> the Arch Veil is here. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Untrustable? Untrustable, the unbeatable, where are you? Oh my god. Can I hear you, stupid ass imp? <laughs> that was funny. I was like, oh, Archvale. It's like, I knew he was, I knew it would show up. But yeah, Velvet, um, I still love Velvet. She's my girl. <laughs> and the Nightmare says uh, she's having this creepy as fuck. Oh yeah, I was traumatized. I was actually super traumatized. That's all the, the things she, the dreams she, nightmares, that, that's all the guilt she's been having through. Yeah, I can imagine it. Because, uh, she was a failure and she needed to eat people too. Well, the thing is, she can't have human food because she... She lost her ability to say some tape. She can only have yeah. his blood. She can only have his blood. That was it. Yeah, I know. She can't uh, taste anything aside from blood. Yeah. That's a third yeah. beyond. That's a daemon for you. Yeah, but I love that funny moment when after... After uh, Eleanor uh, tasted that... Uh, thing. I just uh, forgot the name. Sorry. Yeah, they have a discussion about it. And Velvet uh, just makes uh, Mogul the dream that stuff. Oh, I just remember that the name is a Salatome or something like that. And you know that uh, in Eleanor's uh, case, uh, Initiates had to drink it to share the same, same thing, the same amount of. Uh, she gets she, she gets to finally witness what Velvet's been tasting for so long. Yeah, I know. It's like, yeah, you got the taste of all the iron in there in that shit she's been getting. Also, Eisen is such a big uh, brother. I like I like how he cares about Edna. Yeah, that's but, that's a brother for you. But. It's so fucked up that they... There you are. But, but you can't be with her because of that stupid reaper's curse. That's, a, that's a, the thing he calls that reaper curse because you know he was going to turn into a dragon eventually because he's a Sephirin. He was basically a Sephirin because a Sephirin has a curse and they would turn into a dragon and they would lose, forget who they are. Well, yeah, 
There we go, killed it. It just reminded me about that funny moment. Uh, like, uh, Aizen Snap said, Monkey Lou, that damn nation, <laughs> Monkey Lou. Oh, that's Monkey Lou. Monkey Lou's a goddamn troll. Yeah. Damn nation, Monkey Lou. My sister doesn't have any guy cleaning what up. What the hell? Do, Do, you know, Do you know something that I don't? Prove it. Bring him here right now. And Eleanor is like, God, I said, no one's saying that. God, I hate Eleanor so much and that shit. Just her been, just her been complaining, bitching about artists didn't do this and do that. It's like, motherfucker, he did. Can you really imagine, but then, by the way, that how you would feel if uh, you, like, for example, you believe that uh, he had he had something else to do, some uh, other reasons to do all that uh, messed up crap, and the uh, faith child and her faith child crumbles down, guy, flush down the toilet. Pretty much. Oh man, yeah. I don't know when I'm gonna get. I don't know when I'm gonna start playing that Tales game. It's gonna probably gonna be a while. Because I still got other stuff to want to focus on. Yeah, understandable. I know. I, I know. Alberto's been. Alberto's been wanting me to play Tales of Arise eventually. I don't know when. It, I don't. Tales of Arise is, is a whole different scenario. I do know they brought. <laughs> they they brought they did bring Edna and Eisen <coughs> Eisen back. Mm, anyways, oh. wish uh, I can stay, but I'm getting tired of soon, and so. Push your brother, push your brother, bitching at you for being loud. <laughs> nah, not that. It's getting <coughs> late. What is it? Is it probably, nine? Probably, is it what? Ten o'clock over there right now? Uh. Got other stuff to do as well before heading out to sleep. Fair enough. But, uh, Anyways. yep, thanks for coming on, Kirito. <laughs> we'll see you next time, Kirito. And see ya, and thanks uh, for listening to Zampak. Oh, even no worries. We don't agree, even if we don't agree, we can always. Uh, well, yeah, that's what we're here for. We're here to agree and disagree. That's what we're here for. Uh, even though I don't sound like it, even though I have a voice of an asshole, but at the same time, I can still agree and disagree, you know? I have different opinions. I mean, I'm full open arms with it. Yeah, I'm on the same boat. I can be But no worries, like, don't take too. things personally, the things I say. It's just, I, there's a lot of things I say and view things a lot of differently than anyone else is. <laughs> it's not like yeah. I'm forcing them to. It's just, I'm just voicing my own personal opinion, so. Yeah, we are having our own personal perspectives. Yep. Anyways, good night. Have a good night, Credo. Have a good night, Credo. If YouTube wasn't so stingy, I would. I. You know what game I would love to stream right now? Tell me. Saint Rose. Yeah, man. All the way. God damn All right. You. You Even know you I could. You could, you just you have to shut the music off from the radio cars and all that. Yeah, but I can't make guarantees for Saint Pro 3 and 4 that's gonna work. Uh, it should be, because you should, you should always check in your settings for that. I yeah, man, but no, it's, the, it's about the cutscenes, that's the problem. What, does it have nudity and stuff? No, well... Uh, well, partly nudity, but you know that's just that's partly, the uh, partly, yeah. But they sent, but they, oh, but they censored. Oh, it's, it's not it's, uncensored. It's censored. It's oh. it's 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 uh, it shows like uh, oh, how should I say this? Uh, pixelated stuff. Oh, tits and ass pixelated. Those are pixelated. Yeah, exactly. Yo, you'll be f if those were shown on your stream, you would be fine. Like that would be that, but that is not really my concern. My concern is like, okay, when you on Saint Row Free, when at the beginning of the mission after you've done with the bank heist, uh, Pierce of course takes over control on the radio, and he and he's all gonna start singing. How can I? How can I make him shut up? I can't. It's this part because it's part of the program. I don't know what he's singing and stuff like that. It's just that. Probably 
like rap. It's a, it's probably that original rap shit crap. And let's not and let's not forget on Saint Row Four when you'd have to do a side content mission with Pierce again takes over the control of the radio and he sings the Paula song. Be a a way to stop. Uh, <laughs> should be, nothing so far. Should not be a problem. I'm gonna I don't, stay here. Well, I don't know, man. It's the only thing I can do. Hey, you know, but you do you, you do you. In the storage cabinet I do explode. myself, but the code is oh, six man. two four. Six uh, two. Uh, like four, I six. said, like I said, if YouTube wasn't so stingy about copyright, uh, the copyright claims and all, all that all shit, believe me, I would have streamed those Look, things a long this time ago. Because I really have no shame of streaming it. And honestly, on Saint Row Two, no disrespect any to anybody of you guys over there on the chat, but I would use cheat codes for infinite health and infinite ammo. Uh, I just kind of use. Let's say six or. The Saint Row Two, Saint Row Two is really a, is really hardcore. It really is hardcore. But Saint Row Three and Four, I got no issues with with those games whatsoever. I'm still gonna have to do the first one of Saints Row. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna cut the music out. I just wish. I wish that the, that's the first Saint Row would have would have been available on PC as well. I would have loved it. Yeah, but for even though it was on that, it was it was only on 360 back then. But if they would remaster it, they would have do a a re recenter whatever the hell they want to call it. They can do it. They should have done that. They should have, but they didn't. But the thing is, I wanted to understand. What the, what the fuck happened with Julius? Why did he betray the, the leader of the Saints and said that blow him up? And then he got it and, and then he entered into, and then entered to a fucking coma. Well, that's the thing. Apparently that Julius got greedy and apparently he took the opportunity of <laughs> apparently he got too greedy with this corporation that would offer money in the position to take the job. So he took that idea and then decided to betrayal and to make your character go into coma for so many years. But yeah, it's it's just uh, apparently Julius got Julius got corrupted by Alter Corporation and wanted to make him to be a president. Because if if you remember uh, Red Faction, you mm -hmm. remember you remember Friend Faction. You remember the you, you know in Saints Row they got the name Alter, right? And you know where they got yeah. that from, right? Uh, no, not really. Red Faction. Oh, that was from the game franchise Red Faction because the thing is, Volition. Also made Red Faction from the first one up to the uh, the latest one. So that's where they got the name Alter name. It's from the Altered Corporation from Red Faction. And I knew it was there because like oh that's like because I played Red Faction before. Oh the Arch Veil's back. Well at least that explains it. Yup. And you know what? I'm gonna plan to I'm gonna plan to do Red Faction again. Now that I got that Dax Faction moderation mod working, and it actually works great because I passed finally passed the bug issue that I can finally do it again. Yeah, I know that gives me some copyright claims apparently, but you know what? It doesn't stop me. It doesn't impact my channel. I'm not monetized, so I don't care. It's not like I'm making money. I'm not yeah, I'm not monetized either. But when it comes to music and all that, that's what that's where the problem starts. That's where the, that's where it begins. The music issues. What the hell? That's the. If it wasn't for the if it wasn't for the music, believe me, I would have loved to. I would have loved I would have loved to do it. But I would say that Saint Row Four is one of my favorites. I kind of stopped playing Saints Row after after three. I got burnt out with it. I didn't. I, like I said, Saint Row, Saint Row Four is one of my favorite. But you know why? Because the Paula song. <laughs> I'll Obviously. be honest. <laughs> Ooh, the to what can I do? It was awesome. Beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests, originating from Delta Level Three. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms. Specimen 197. Imp. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which has complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to... <laughs> yeah, too bad we're not as good as the imps and the demons. Masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created... It's a pity. Unknown. 
But it's a living. That the specimens possess a rudimentary yep. intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the portal. While the cost in human life has been great in acquiring these specimens, we hope to one day... Yeah, they use, the, they use their own employers the as guinea pigs for their in specimens. Sentence. That's the whole idea with this. Basically, the, you're, just telling, you're just showing that the USA used their own employers as their guinea pig to invalidate the specimens. Oh, oh, I just remember. You know what they did not censor? Me? On St. Row 3 and 4, you know what they what you know what is not censored? Um, I'm trying to think, what was it? It's a. I'll I'll give you a hint. It's a weapon. Oh, it's the the oh god the. Oh god, the dildo. The D, the D, the D, the, 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 yeah, yeah. The, the, the dildo. Purple, purple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the dildo is yeah. never gonna get censored. <laughs> no, no, no. I remember don't. the dildo. And... <laughs> that was also oh. on, that was also on GTA San Andreas. That you go to, oh. the, you could go to the police station, you go to the police station, and then you go down to the, the, the prison cells. And you actually you go to the showers and then you can get to pick up a dildo as a melee weapon. You can use it to kill people. Uh, with it. Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> yep, dead serious. It's in oh, the game. <laughs> All you gotta do is go to the police station, go down to the shower rooms, and then pick up the dildo, and you can use it as a weapon. <laughs> well, almost similar on Saint Rose that's happening almost, except that you go to a well, let's just say to a. Uh... Yeah. In a better place. Yeah, you get the ideas. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Arthritis. Welcome to the Zan stream. Hey, Arthritis. Welcome to the live stream. So, yeah, that's another oh, he was thing listening. that... Let's see. Oh, also, brain God. damage. Let's see. In brain damage, you can use a bow gun that uses dildos instead of arrows. Oh, my God. I believe really? it. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> oh, God. Yay. Yay. My favorite new arrow for bows. Shooting plastic dicks at my enemy's face. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to play Postal 2 event. I'm gonna have to do a Postal 2 stream. And I need Postal brain damage because there's so much good sh stuff on it. I've seen the gameplay of it. I've seen the pictures of it. It looks so great. I'm like, I need to play it too. Oh, so I take it you want to do it with the... Yes. With the, with yeah, the with plastic? The... Yeah, you, you can just say the dildo. No, I don't want to. Get, I don't want to get your channel canceled, man. No, you ain't gonna cancel me. Everyone knows what the hell the dildo is. Yeah, but you're too sensitive. Who cares? They ain't gonna. They ain't gonna censor it over that. Well, you... yeah, but the thing is, that's the only thing that on Saints Row for him for are not censored. Those <laughs> are the only things. Oh God. Oh. Oh man, he says that when you pick it up. Now it's shooting dicks for a living. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> it's shooting dicks. Shooting dicks for a living. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on with this world? <laughs> welcome to good. the welcome to the world that's not perfect. <laughs> oh, <it's> not perfect. <laughs> hey, like I said, well, most people have their own uh, freaks and fetish. Oh, this guy tried to save. He's dead. He got killed by the imp. Oh, poor imp. Oh, that's what it says. Now I'm shooting dicks for a living. <laughs> God, I wish I, I. I was trying to say. <clears throat> That stupid emoji that's in that chat, it's super annoying, I can't get rid of it. And apparently this guy goes by the name of Jacob Simmons. Well, S-T-E-M-M-O-N-S. -M -M Postal games are so funny on top. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, there, you, there, you, there's nothing wrong with Postal. Postal is always top-notch comedy. I really want to play the second one of Postal 2. So you could just go encounter with with Gary Coleman in the second one. I'm gonna have I'm gonna probably say I played the first one in Postal.
So yeah, I'm so happy that uh, I'm so glad that um, Pratt's gifted me uh, Sekiro Shadows Die twice. I am so looking forward to doing that. Yeah, but you better be careful with this game. You gotta have this pretty hardcore. Yeah, yeah, it is hardcore because all that you have to do, you gotta have to, you have to do like non-stop parries, like you do in Tsushima. It's like AJ told me. It's like that thing when you play uh, secure uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, you have to do a lot of parries in it. The second one is also the game where you can also. Yeah, that's right, you can burn down the gay bar for no reason. Yeah, Postal 2... Postal 2 had no holds bar when it comes to stuff like that. Alright, I gotta activate this Convoyeur. This specimen. But also give me a life source. Or destroying the bank and empty the vault because you're too lazy just waiting for them to pay you out the crits. Yeah. Yeah, if you feel like don't... If you get too lazy with that, just rob the vault. Just, just go over there, empty the vault, and you don't have to worry about payment. That's all I would do. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to... Oh yeah, I remember there's a cheat code too. That in the second one in, in Postal, you can stick a cat up the you can stick a barrel up the cat's ass and you can use it as a as a silencer <laughs> it's it's so good it's funny a lot of people find it so wrong but it's hilarious and you know what i just don't care because you know let's go ahead and let's we can just go ahead and piss off the entire PETA organization <laughs> Where is this thing? There you go. Yeah, that's the, the, the cheat code when you stick a barrel up the cat's ass. You keep on shooting it. A whole tons of cats would just go meow, 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 meow. Bouncing all over the walls and then it comes to the point it would just explode and already died. <laughs> it's just offending everyone, which is funny. <clears throat> You know on Saint Row 2 what's missing, honestly, Zan? Mm hmm? The DLC contents. Oh, they do. Yeah, on on Steam version, on the Steam version, the DLC content don't exist, apparently, for Saint Row 2. But on the consoles, they still do. Well, you know what they say is, uh, if you can't find it on Steam or GOG, you can just get it from the website. Right? I don't think so. Yeah. my You know one of my favorite things, Arthritis? <laughs> is, uh, I love how you get to shoot the terrorists in the second one. They kind of made all, all the terrorists that look like Mohammed, what was it, Saddam Hussein and Osama Bin Laden. Actually, more like Osama Bin Laden. I love how they made all the characters look like him. <laughs> and just have him... You can just have Osama Bin Laden just go to a parade at the beginning and just blows it up and then it's a terrorist attack. Oh god, these imps. I hate the imps when they're that close. Yeah, it was, uh, I believe it was on day two or day three that, uh, terror- No, I think it was day three they attacked the church. And uh, there you got also the protesters, you got the non-violent, the anti-violent video game protesters you got also fight at the very beginning of the game when you played. It's like, games are bad to make you mad. Games are bad to make you mad. And of course you've seen them as a domestic terrorist, you fight them. And then you get to say, hi there. And then there's another part that you can do is, um, Postal, Postal Dude goes around and add, tells people, Force conjure, co for, force wussy congressmen to play violent video games and say, "Hi there, would you like to sign my petition?" Oh my God! Don't remind me. That's uh, 
<clears throat> a rock, a rock that 69 or 68, what, what it was called. Uh, yeah, that was a shout out. Dodge, yeah. That was a was shout a out. Shout out. Yeah. I when I saw that shout, I was like, that's so dope. Because it's like, sign up or I'll go home and I'll kill your dog. And then if everyone just runs away, <laughs> you make the one person run away, they don't sign it. Sign my petition, damn it. Yeah, the final day you you bring a birthday gift to Uncle Dave and it's Uncle <laughs> and it's Dave Kudish. Yeah, it's Dave Kudish. Yeah. <laughs> it's Dave Kudish. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> you bring a birthday gift to Uncle Dave and it's Dave Kudish. <laughs> oh, I, I, I remember top to bottom. Top to bottom, Arthritis with Postal 2. I love how you fight. I love how you fight anti video game protesters and then you fight another anti protest. Fight another protesters. They're basically anti books. They said, Read up, burn a book, save a tree, burn a book, save a tree. Like, that's a dedication to the anti climate change activists. Oh man, that shit's. I am so gonna play it. When I get around to stream it, I am going to stream it, shit. It's going to be great. Oh, Postal 2s is one of my favorite Postal games of all time. <laughs> it's just, it's made to offend everybody, and it's just hilarious. I love, my, you know what one of my favorite part is too, Arthritis? Is that, uh, um, is, uh, uh, there's a, somebody made an office... There's, when you go to a bathroom, there's an office, there's an office that someone made as a, apparently it's a joke parody to one of their employers, is that you go to a bathroom and this guy has an office, and it's just a toilet. Alright, I'm gonna, I need to go to myself real quick. What the fuck is this notification? What? What the hell? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> what the hell do I want to go there? Good thing I switched. Good thing I. Switched. Oh God, really? This oh, this guy's account probably got hacked. <laughs> what? No, thank you. I don't want any of it. Oh, by the way, did you hear that already now 33 got his Japanese PSP 3000 in his house? No. Dude, go to the game. Go to the picture game and check it out. It's beautiful. I actually what seen did it. That? Let me see. Go to the DOS game and go to the... Uh... Whoa. Look at that thing. That thing's beautiful, isn't it? That thing is awesome, man. Hey, welcome back, that Untrustable. Does, that does it. I'm going. I'm going over to his place and steal it. <laughs> Good luck. All right, I'm just. Need, so this is what Ardeno got. I got. I got charms. I got Ardeno 33, a buddy month, <laughs> buddy of us. We know he's got. He's got his Japanese PSP at his house. Guys, look at this side of my stream. Look how beautiful this thing is. That's a beautiful looking PSP. And hello, Untrustable. Welcome back, man. Oh yeah, they, or they rotate you into a gimp. Yeah. <laughs> they turn you into a gimp. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Arduino, Arduino, oh, God, what's it? Arduino, Arduino 33's got himself a PSP. This is the Japanese PSP version. That beautiful <laughs> blue cherry blossom. That's what it's called. They call it the, the cherry blossom. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking I'm I'm probably should buy myself a PSP, because that's something I have never touched and never played. There's I never touched it myself. I mean, there's a lot of good things with it. Yeah, I know there's a PSP Vita, but I want to do a PSP first. Nah, the the Vita system doesn't work well anymore. Yeah, they shut. That's why they shut it down. <laughs> 
But this I will get my hold. I'll get my hands on it. I don't have to worry about the shop. Oh yeah, congrats to him. He's got his PSP. That looks beautiful. To be honest, the only reason I want to get the PSP is to get the, the, the entire collection of Yu-Gi-Oh! Attack Forces games. Yep, too. Oh, Untrustable, since you're here, I need to show you. I got the BFG! <laughs> and I'm ready to fuck shit up! And plus, we encountered the- I have encountered the Arch Veil. I managed to kill one, but there was a second one. That thing got away, though. Oh god, oh god. And I'm almost dead already. I got 10 health left. Well, too late. I'm dead. Too late, you're dead. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of killing imps, I'm killing gimps. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Yeah, I'm just demonstrating this thing so overpowered. 9,000! <laughs> no, I'm not at the end. I'm half at the game, uh, untrustable. I still have to go through, um, I still have to go through the, the teleporter to get to hell, and then get the soul cube, and then get out, and then I'll be half, and then I'll be on the halfway there. So we're pretty much in the middle of the game, still. What you see before you is a relic codenamed you want, or simply soul cube. Yeah, where the hell's the soul cube? It's gone! Yeah, let's just turn it on. It says, it's not there. Area errors. Bad effect to artifact not found. No shit. Because but Truger took it. Dr. Petruger has taken it. And I got another PDA. And this guy's name is L Larry Bullman. Uh, this is the audio log of research director Larry Bullman. October 19th. 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some hmm. sort of weapon. Uh, if the power fluctuation is is he relative to John McCormack? Sure my theory would be verified. Press an X to doubt. You know, I'll take this opportunity I push to X. another no. complaint. About okay, detective. Power problems. No, my God, no. Ellen was coming, coming up sooner or later. Flicker constantly. It's just. <gasps> well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far. Is Apple G reposted your command keen cosplay tweet. Oh, did they? <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? He distracts power. Uh, that's actually a good thing. <laughs> Once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain. Indicating that, that reminds me of what how Alpha G did it with Bart. Uh, they reposted Bart's screenshot gameplay without his permission <laughs> and not even credit them. The rest of them indicates it harbors some far to me, I saw that and that was kind of bullshit. To be fair, that was really bullshit. Ah, uh, well, it could have been worse. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities <clears throat> are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paper. Oh man, I cannot wait to use the Soul Cube. And a block. The Soul Cube is such an overpowered weapon. You throw the is thing. It? Yeah, when you you can only you can you have to use it one time, but the only way to recharge it, you have to kill enemies and then use the Soul Cube. When you use the Soul Cube, it will kill a demon with one shot, and the good part is. You can drain their health, and you will get your HP back, whatever they have in their in their life stock. Right. I'm gonna have to read that video. I'm gonna watch this video that Soul Cube is because I was trying to listen to it, and then the you guys were in here. What you see before? You no, not that. Where's the? Oh, is this? Welcome to the. No, Delta. that's the museum. My name is. There it is. Research specialist stationed on Mars. 
working for the UAC. My primary job is, or rather was, to assist Dr. Malcolm Petruger in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video log to let someone know what happened, and with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing. We were creating a new science, and the prospects of it changing our way of life were, well, they were outstanding. I was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Petruger. Yeah, I got your message, uh, Arthritis. Before we had completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a very heavy <laughs> delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level. What? <laughs> what? Each stage of the process. Arthritis just showed me to the pit. Your um, pulse still brain damage about the arrows that got replaced. We sent a video. No, 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 no. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. No, no. Um, no. You gotta have to. No! Well, guess what? I'm not. I'm not watching. I'm not watching. Oh my god, no, you did not. I'm not seeing it. I'm not touching your message. I'm not touching your message. Come on. I'm not doing Come on. <laughs> it's just a photo. Oh my god, no. No, me. No. No. Me. I Arthritis, I send the fo I send the picture you send me to Alter Fan. <laughs> you hear his reaction. Arthritis, you're gonna catch the best. He had to see it, so I'm like, here, this is what it looks like. <laughs> All right, is you pay for this? You owe me for this. <laughs> you owe me. You owe him a coke. No, he he owes me big time. More more than a coke. <laughs> I had to do it, man. It's just I just I just like to do it to torment my brother. It's like here you go. You get to see what it looks like. It was an unscheduled trip, and he just went, and we couldn't stop him. If you guys watching the stream, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and to the channel because we are still continuing the source port of Doom 3. We're just halfway to the game and we're getting close to the portal that would go to hell. And we're trying to get the soul cube. Oh god, you're killing me, Zan! Oh, you're killing me! I blame myself for my part in this. Please, welcome to the world. Never let this happen. Welcome to Tort. Welcome to Pulse. I'm sorry. Wish I never played. You're probably gonna have to eventually. What you make me? It ain't like you're gonna. Uh, uh, it ain't like you're gonna access my account and buy a game that I'm not aware of. Hey. You're not the only one who would probably tell you. You have AJ. <laughs> AJ's not here, so he's not listening. <laughs> if I record, if I clip and record it, then it's like, yeah, your ass is busted. And look at this, I don't need to worry about combinations. 372 already. And there's Three, dead bodies. 372, seriously? That was the easy combination ever. Yeah, and guess what? I get to see. Parts of people's limbs and corpse getting torn up by the imp. Ouch. Right, oh, what so that weapon? That weapon would have been fun to have on Unreal Tournament games. Oh, the plasma gun. Yeah. For some reason. <laughs> For some reason, the fire rate on this one is slow, so they, it feels like they ported it. They ported the gun fire rate from the Xbox version compared to the from the original. The original Doom Three, the fire rate on the there was a chain gun. The, the fire rate on the plasma gun original is is fast. It goes like superly fast, but for this, it's kind of slow. 
Yeah, uh, you know what's also the uh, uh, the bullshit about on Saint Row 2? I mean, I played the game before on the PC version, right? I don't know, but sometimes uh, when I play, sometimes the game crashes for no reason whatsoever. And I bought the game on Steam. Well, you know what to say? If you start having the, uh, if you start having um, issues like that, ish, ish, then think it's time to you find a fan patch that will fix it up. Or use a mod, because there other is that, a mod. Other than that, there is a mod, yeah. So other than that, so. But I saw, I saw a guy who's who. Well, he doesn't do live streams, but he posts like a tons of videos, and he posted and he posted videos of uh, uh of Saint Rope, but like with different graphics than the original itself. It's modded, and he played it on the PC. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, give me a second. I don't... I'm trying to look at this. And it's called the Sports the gentleman Center. the gentleman row or something like that. Yeah, it's something. I think it's one of those. Hang on, where I am in Delta Lab Two B. Uh, uh, oh, there uh, we go. Not, Found it. Found well, it. as well, well, as long as it's not Delta City. No, thank God, because otherwise I'm gonna blow Delta City right up again. <laughs> so what? Robocop would approve. I have my other hands matter. Oh, Martian buddy. Okay, Martian buddy. All right, here we go. Martian buddy is zero five zero eight. Hey, get a free BFG cell cells. Woohoo! BFG cells, baby. Oh. But yeah, Saint Rose was one of my favorites, to be honest. I really enjoyed Saint Rose games than GTA. I still like. I I, I rather prefer the older GTAs than the uh, to be than the than the new ones to me. But I still like Saint. I like both of them. I just like the older GTAs a lot more. Yeah, I know. I get you. But uh, like I said, my favorites right now is Saint Row, I'll be honest, and I really enjoyed it. I love the crazy, cr I the crazy shit on that one. I really, I really had no, re I really had no regrets playing it. Nope. I just uh, the only regret I, only uh, the only regret I have is the first game that I don't had that I never played it, and of course it was uh, it's only on, uh, on the Xbox original. Yeah, too bad. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'd write this. Oh, he posted it. Look, just look. He posted oh, the, what I posted from you. <laughs> not quite, Lee. Just look, just look at the game room on your channel. All right, I'm looking at this. On the game room. Ha ha ha! Five dildos, five dildos, five dildos. Pick up suspicious moon sign. Moonshine. Moonshine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. The five dildos from postal brain damage. <laughs> Is anybody sick today? Because <laughs> nope. nope. if, if somebody is, I've got a doctor here right now who can help you. <laughs> I am healthy, my boy. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Trust me. I'm very healthy today. <laughs> that confounded echo... Every time when I hear when I go and talk to somebody, I hear that. <laughs> oh, Saints Row the Third is on sale. Ooh. Yeah, the original. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy it again. I have the remaster. I'll just buy it. I'll buy the original one just for a backup. I mean, why not? I like hey, Saints, cool, Saints Row. I mean, it's we're gonna thing. have you, need, you, me, gonna have to do a Saints Row the Third multiplayer co-op on our off stream. Exactly. Oh, you betcha. But I only have the remastered version. Yeah, I, I have. have I have. It. I have it too. So don't worry. I mean, I don't see. I don't see. Uh, it, it, it's, if there's any. No, it's difference. it's it's just the same thing. It's just the graphics is a little bit twice as bad. Let's just say it. Yeah, we can call it. Yeah, that exactly. Exactly. All right. Four, four, six, three. There we go. Yeah, untrustable. My, I got your BFG. That reminds me, I gotta have to do that. I'm gonna have I, to do that. I think I know. 
I think I know. I think I know what it stands for. BFG. Can I say? Oh, it? hold on. There's the orange veil. Be up, be kaya, motherfucker. All right. Go ahead. Okay, I would like to say best. Uh, uh, best favorite gun. Well, you could say that. There's a lot of names for that. Okay, best fire gun. Uh, you can say that too. But in translation, it stands for a big fucking gun. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, true story. Well, that would do Nukem. We would definitely agree to it. Yeah. I, I, I was speaking. I love how. I I saw, oh, untrustable agrees with you. Yep, yep. best freaking gun. There's a lot of names like best freaking gun, big freaking gun, and big fucking gun. Like, there's a lot of names where it's like best freaking gun. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw uh, on YouTube a video, a prank video called a Duke Nukem. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's true. They rename it to Bioforce Gun. That was so dumb. In the Doom movie, like, Bioforce Gun's like, really? It's like, really? Can you guys just couldn't simply keep the name Big Fucking Gun or any of that? It's like, seriously? Bioforce Guns? Like, that's such a dumbest name. It's. Oh, it's Butt Truger and his demon minion. There he goes. He got his buddies with him. Oh, hi. Goodbye. And guess what? You're all dead. I took so much damage. Guys, I got corn I got attacked from a corner. Alright. Destroy the bridge. Alright guys, we're at the portal. We're near at the portal. This is gonna take me to go to hell. We're finally going to hell. Get your cards out, get your VIP outs, and uh, oh, look at the magazine. It's got the original Doom Guy's face, Game Hog. It's got Doom Guy's original face. <laughs> there it is. Oh, so I just sent you the link. Oh, the video for it? Whoa! Whoa! I forgot you came in here, Mr. Tentacle Man. I need to use my phone real quick. I'm not gonna. Check through whenever I get messages from Discord or anything. I'm gonna use my phone so I can check. So I don't have to use my computer for a second. Well, oh, there's the man himself. Yeah, God bless his soul. He's still alive. Yeah, I know, but still, God bless him. Yep. He also did the Doctor Hunsky and the Aeon Fury, if you remember. He also did Big the Cat in Sonic uh, and Sonic X. Yeah, well, in Sonic games, like Sonic Adventures 1 and 2. Oh, no, he wasn't <laughs> in 2. He was just the first one in Sonic X. And all the other Sonic games, too, he started doing. I mean, he sound okay. <laughs> he sound okay. Yeah. Yeah. But still, uh, Big... But I still miss him. Yeah. <laughs> so big I'm going to say Come on. Big the Cat. I'm going to call <laughs> him Big the Retard. <laughs> Oh my god, if you you don't have to pause to say that to face to face. <laughs> you don't have to pause to say that to You'll probably face get a laugh out like you'll that. probably get a laugh out of it. <laughs> no, he will punch you in the nose. <laughs> he will punch you in the nose and then I'll say to you, Man, what a big red nose you got. And I was like, I'm gonna then, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come to your house and I'll have even have to swim over, I'll have to come and kill you. Yeah, you and what army, surely? My arms. Uh huh. Cool, Butruga destroyed the bridge. What will I do? Oh my god, but I had to send you the, the link. You, yeah. gotta, you gotta see it. Yeah, I will. Man, these guys. Man, I've been getting none of these guys lately. Hello there, unhandsome Doom guy. I would just imagine that they if they did a remake of Doom 3, I would just imagine Doom guy just going
go piss in the planet and do what Duke Nukem did and Duke Nukem forever. It's taking forever. Uh, Time to stop pissing around and get this big boy back into action. Yeah. Even though people, there is a mod you can act there. You know, there's a mod you can actually fix all the ammos, right? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Whenever I get messages on Discord, I use my phone in case someone posts a tilt of the arrows like you did, like you did to me. <laughs> yeah, in case someone posted dildo arrows. <laughs> God, God damn it, you're in my mind. Oh, Arthritis, I, I think you already sent it. You should send that to Untrustable. Send that Untrustable, then you will realize what we're talking about. No. <laughs> Even an untrustful needs to get into the phrase. <laughs> whatever, whatever happens on the Zan stream stays in the Zan stream. Or does it? <laughs> it does. Welcome to the 18 plus, y'all. <laughs> oh, cool. Would you? Okay, here's what happens. You will probably just run away. Imagine if you have a laptop and you see a demonic symbol on your screen. I would not run. Then you would just say, well, time to kill those... Time to kill those bastards from hell. Yeah, exactly. And if I'm going to hell, I welcome it. I welcome hell besides with you. This is the personal audio log of... Dr. You're not Dean Martin, dude. Dated September 19th, oh, I just made my own water. Cabin number 317, the code is 8 or why am I keep pushing the controller key? Not the, uh, the 12, not the 11, 12 emergency number. Oh, you want to know about, uh, emergency number for number 110? That's, that's Japan's emergency number. No, oh, God. Hello, Skull Man. Hey, it's Red Skull. How's it hanging? At least it's not. At least it's not 112 again. <laughs> uh, I think he got the message already. I may be a dumbass, but hey, I'm a man of passion. <laughs> or are you? Yes, I am. All right, you want pause here for a second? I'm gonna take a short break. I'm not gonna leave. But I'm gonna do this. It's time to check, see how my votes, how my uh, my votes are doing. Oh, oh man, Carizo is gonna stream 007 Ancient Under Fire full play. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, but that's on the PlayStation Two. It's it was GameCube and Xbox. No, he's got an emulator. It's, it's it's always Garisu who's doing it. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna check uh Let's see, how's it doing? Well, nothing changed yet. Uh let's see, the votes The vote is still stands. Diablo games fifty percent, Broadway one and two and two, Grammar Cods twenty five percent. Throw the bump out! Boo! And now he's booing at Blood Rain because he booed at it because I sent the what? name. No, yeah. no, I booed the outro. What? Oh man! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I made the reverse card. Uh, you're lucky that I'm not right next to you, man. And I because I was like, uh, I, 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 good. Reverse your body parts. I would reverse your body parts right now. Sure you would. Let's see. Yep. So yeah, I think that's what's gonna be next after Doom. Good old Diablo. Hey, look who joined us. It's Equitics. Hello. Hello. There How do you do, Equitics? Here's good, 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 good. I saw the video you sent me about the butler. <laughs> 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 yes, I go kill so the butler. Amazing. It was so amazing. He killed the butler and then he got pop and sent to the other room and he killed him too. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, see, it seems that the developer of this game is uh, trying all kinds of things for the next update because because it's still in beta, he can do all kinds of things. So yesterday he completely destroyed the jetpack. You couldn't use it anymore. It was totally Aww. useless, and now and now he fixed it again. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. It's like how many times he fi he's like what was this? It was like two or three times he fixed the jetpack that was so broken. Yeah, so. He also nerfed the uh, the enemy that uh, that he added, Just at least the spawn rate. That's uh, that's good to hear that he fixed that. Yeah, so don't mind if I got this on my screen. Our boy, our buddy uh, Adriano thirty three got himself the uh, the Japanese version of a PSP that went to it. Finally got to it. Yeah, I saw. And it's the blue color style. Yeah, it's a it's called the blue cherry blossom. That's what's actually what the color's called. But I actually want one to look like to look like this or something. It's actually pretty dope. But yeah, <laughs> Psycho the uh, killed the butler and gets blind and gets died. <laughs> oh, the jetpack is still bugged. It's a, it's still bugged still. It, it's it's ra it drains battery power even if you're not using it. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, you probably fix it tomorrow or something so yeah let's say is, let's say when's that patch gonna be coming by it hasn't come yet hasn't it no uh he's doing updates every every one or two days or something and i think he will continue to do so until he's happy and then he's gonna release it officially that's good so yeah i'm not too worried about all kinds of things changing i mean one no. day he changes the gesture to that, uh, that he will attack way sooner, and then the next day he reverts the change. So, yeah, I'm not worried about that either. As long as he get the, the only thing I'm concerned about is as long as he get the game functional. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. There are apparently with the beta, uh, we had a lot of desync issues, and it's yeah, apparently something that... in the in the version as well. Yeah, that's I, that was my concern too. There, there was a lot of desyncing that was going on. It was. I'm probably say you was just you and me had issues. Ultraman probably had issues with that too. So I think, uh, man, you know what? I should have just reported to the guys. Like, yeah, apparently that the beta that we test out has a V-sync issue. So I'm hopefully you will yeah, get to well, test that. I think there are enough people playing this game. So yeah. <laughs> well, I got another PDA, Mister Hun M Lee, not Chim, not uh, Bruce Lee. This is the audio log of Administrative Assistant Han Lee, Han Lee. dated October 16, 2140. Han Lee! Why is it that I keep getting the crummy jobs? Armor Corps first yeah. platoon and first science team were completely wiped out this morning. Oh, that was crazy how we actually encountered the uh, the old birds when we did the, uh, reports and sending when we did that with the put God mode. There were so many of them. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> I la I'm so good. I was laughing that the the, the old bird just killed the, that baboon sure. hawk. <laughs> sent him flying. Twenty dead bodies to fill out paperwork. <gasps> oh, there's another video I need to send in the Discord. There's some guy who played the uh, what was it? Some some animal versus something. So apparently he made uh, see which enemies can survive the big fist. And so far the the biggest monster that got singing flying backwards from getting punched by a big giant fist thingy was the giant. Pray Mantis to send him flying backwards, flipping backwards. It was so funny. It was just came, it just automatically came into my recommendation. I'm like, oh, I watched this, and then I was laugh, a good mild laughter. This is the audio log of administrative assistant Han Lee, dated October 20th. And Alberto seems to love Lethal Company because of the yuppies. This job couldn't get much worse. Oh God. Did. God, we still need to get the yuppie air horn sound. <laughs> I just, I just sent you another video, which is basically the the summary of the old patch, the new patch. All right, I'm gonna look at it. Let's take a look. It's from the other guy. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, I, I follow them. The team was equipped with the new PFG weaponry. We fear those guys are the hands of those in Kent. We, we don't go. know who or what is behind the door. Loading. But until we find out where our guns are, I suggest we swing the bridge to the ball. Thank you. <laughs> 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 
while all half the friends just died. <laughs> Moker Mogo Roku is the only one living. Oh nope, never mind. <laughs> you were saying you were saying about somebody still living? <laughs> <laughs> It's just the complete chaos. Complete. So hilarious. <laughs> the complete chaos from the bird. <laughs> oh, that's that's funny. God, it keeps getting better and better. Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. Uh, it's gonna be. That is so hilarious. It's so much chaos. I love it. Man, Enraged so wants to play it too. The only problem is he doesn't have an actual functional computer like we do. Mm. Man, he would he would definitely be so good, perfect for our crew member. Yep. Yeah, Dad. He was like, yeah. He was like, yeah. He knows the mods and all that. <laughs> Pure chaos. Just getting attacked by the butler and then yuppies and then the big bird blast. Complete. Have a nice day. Ow. All right, so um, apparently Ultrafin's not happy with the, my vault results since that blood since blood is losing to Diablo. <laughs> Eight, three, six. Eight, three, six. All right, what's the let's see? Is Psycho and uh, his buddies are streaming right now with the company? No, only uh, Psycho streaming. Only Psycho. Man, was, I am, I'm also following um, what's the other name? Azimi? Is that his name? How you pronounce it? No idea. What do you mean? The guy no from idea. the the guy from the Netherlands. Oh, Insim. Insim. Okay, that's his name. I was trying to think, what's his name? Is it Insim, Imsim, or something? But it's Insim, okay. It's just, it's just that weird name for me, so don't worry. Yeah, well, it's also a weird name for me, so. It's yeah. not anything Dutch or something. No. But it's cool though, to see his channel and, uh. And also Mago Roku as well. Well, this ain't the main portal, but... Mmm, tentacles. Ew, demonic tentacles. Welcome to the true horror of nightmares. On Delta Street, not Elm Street. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it's like, Zan, would you repeat not to say that again? Alright, let's Please see. Select teleport destination. Teleport destination. Let's see, main in the balcony. We're gonna go to the back. Going to pad to the balcony. Into the portal! Going through the colon. Alright. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Revenant. And he's dead. <clears throat> yeah, so Pratt's gifted me a game for entertainment his week. He had a rough week. What game? Sekiro Shadows died twice. Basically, it's a Souls. It's basically a Souls game based in feudal Japan. Ah, okay. Process. Never heard of it. Well, I heard it's it's from um it was from from Software. They're the ones that did like Dark like Dark Souls and Elden Ring. It's one of those Souls uh, games that's super really hard and intense. I stuck at those games. Yeah, you probably not. You probably won't. Don't care about that or won't join it because it's basically you take like three or four hits and you're dead. Unless you upgrade your characters. <laughs> There's an old bird. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Not the old bird. 
So yeah, I think, uh, let's see. <laughs> He's using the new enemy to escape the robots. Oh no, is he? <laughs> Alright, you know, I gotta pull him up. I gotta pull him up. I gotta go to Twitch. Alright, so give me a second, folks. I'm gonna have to do <laughs> things. You guys and right here. There we go. Alright, uh, Psycho. There he is. Oh god, that, oh yeah, the, the leather flies. <laughs> I just pop in and, and Psycho got that leather bird on, leather fly on his face. Yeah, they they say they actually saved him. Yeah, that's funny. Like they actually saved him. I saw the video just sent it that he went inside and then the bird flung him up to the ceiling. He got killed. <laughs> there was a robot targeting him, and then suddenly Dosa appeared, and f so he can flew fly away. You know, that'll be, that's a, that's a cool thing. And it's like. The leather flies can be a double-edged sword. One can save you, but that thing can be a bad thing because that thing can just fling you up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, it's so good, man. I am so going to continue playing this with you because I know we should get yeah. back to play Backrooms and Phasmo, but, man, Thief of Company has been pretty much in my blood system. Oh, by the way, Ultra Fan, I'll probably say next Saturday I'll be hosting Sonic All-Star Racing. Nice. Uh, how how would you feel of double stream? Well, if you want to do it, I mean, go ahead. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, Sonic and All Star Racing transforms. Here we go. Is it the All Star or Team Sonic Racing 2019? We're gonna do the old transform. Right. Or should I say? Uh... Hold on a second. Look Hold on a second. I want to. Just... Everyone is dead. Just give me a give me a second. Join them. And you wonder what day is gonna be for that Ultra Friend? It's gonna be most likely a Saturday. Also, I will do it on the Saturday and then a Friday, just in case. Yokai! Nope. Yokai! Okay. There we go. Oh, uh, no, here, here I thought it was Roger. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's what it means. It's understood, Roger. Same thing. Because I'll save Left 4 Dead 2 another time, probably within another multiplayer session. Eventually, my nephew and I—my nephew wants to do uh, Alien Fire Team Elite with me. But well, we you and I, we can still do it. Isn't it crossplay? Yeah, it's crossplay. Oh, we can do all three of us. If oh no, wait, because you're coming late. Yeah, it will be late on my side. So it'll probably be like two or three o'clock for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Access granted. Ow. Ow. Really? I just died. God, I hate these things so much. I hate these things so much. <sighs> I forgot the quick save too. Oh well. Oh, at least I didn't get that far. Just die already. Did I show you the the? No, I haven't showed you that clip. Wait, there was another clip I wanted to show you. Wait, where is it? One of Psycho's clips? I think it was this one. Let me see. It took your time, find it. Come on. Please nerd. select teleport destination. 
Oh, I heard that. I heard that. Yippee! Oh, you can hear it from my, uh, from my... Yeah, I hear it. <laughs> I just hear a yuppie. Yeah, it was not the clip I meant. It was not a clip. It was from Psychos. Yeah, it was from Psychos, but I... No idea. Did I send it? What's the one? The, the, the one you sent me was Azami. And the other one you sent me... I need to go to myself real quick. No, no, no. I, I didn't send it to you. Gonna... But I don't think I sent it to anyone, so I can't find it anymore. You sent me the the ones you sent me so far was the Leatherfly, the Butler, and then the the more terrifying ways with easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, there's there's another one, and I can't find it. So uh, let me look it up. Maybe I can find it on uh, on this channel. If you can't find well, if you can't find it, then you can just resend it. No, I didn't want to click on that. I didn't mean to click on that mod. Decontamination process is started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Yeah, have a nice day, the lady says. How about have a nice hell day? with you is wearing thin. Well, sorry, Matruger, that my patient with you is very thin. Well, guess what? My patient to kill you is very thinner. And the imp is dead. Quick save. Ultra fan. So who, who, how many people won? Who won the most matches in uh, Mortal Kombat XL that you guys did? Mostly me. Of course. <laughs> Of course, you. It was mostly you. I'll be honest. I lost some counts to be fair, but mostly I won a few more matches than anybody. But I don't know if I'm gonna host the multiplayer session on Look Wednesday. You, Marine. Everyone is dead, and soon you will join them. Because the people who join me on, uh, on Excel said they may have other things to do on Wednesday. Don't worry about it. If you can't host it, then you, you know you gotta do something else. Yeah. Hey, there's there's the there's the border jumper. There's our there's that rascal Ardrian Allen in there. <sighs> you are just about to grab to say shout hello, but then you turn into a stream engine for a couple of few minutes. Who cut the me to Ardrian Allen? Thirty three. How do you do, Adriano? Nice PSP blue over there. Your yeah, party Quidix is in here. And welcome to the Zan. Welcome to the Zan stream now. At least I finally killed those two, finally. The demons that give me a hard time. What a bloody entry we have. Very bloody entry. We all have that. It's like this. It's one of those things. Doesn't belong. Oh god, you know, I'm gonna have to show you that clip, Ultra Friend, about... Whose line is it anyways, with Ryan Styles? <laughs> oh, that reminds me, have, have I sent you the, did I send you the clip with, um, when the, the Whose Line Is It Anyways did a special episode with Robert Williams? I haven't, have You I? mean, no. 
Oh, all right. I'm gonna have to show you that episode of it. It's wicked funny. They did a, they did a Who Lines It Anyways back in the back in the in the 90s, and of course their special guest was Robert Williams. <laughs> You'll love it. I'm pretty sure I will. Oh shit. <laughs> Come on, Petruger! Send me more good demons for me to kill. I got all day. I got all the animals and stuff to kill. By the way, I did show everybody that you got your PSP at your house, finally. Oh god. Yeah, she is definitely a big looker. It's like saying, check out my new girlfriend. Is she a good looking? Oh, I got a notification. Did you find it, Equinix? Yep. All right, I'll be luck. bring it up on stream all right here we go oh my god what? <laughs> seriously a potato there's no way what he burps out potatoes <laughs> i hear that oh <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> is this his avatar potato? <laughs> That's so awesome. Your honest work is invaluable to the company. <laughs> it's like it's eating it's like oh <laughs> wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. That's funny. You to the game. You're actually amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. You are amazing. You are that's amazing. <laughs> Go find any clinics. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, the seller was wicked fast and expected for a couple few more weeks. Said so that potato kind of looks. Oh, yeah, it kind of looks like equinics for some strange reason. <laughs> that potato looks like equinics for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, basically, that's the mod. And uh, the Lethal Company is going to get a big, very update very soon. Being in Quidditch and, uh, of course, like Ultra Friend, we test out the beta for the upcoming up, up uh, update for the Lethal Company when it makes public, when it comes public, and it's so good. But yeah, uh, Adrian, oh, welcome to the Xan stream. It's been a while. Who caught the mid too? I'm playing the source port of Doom 3. And of course, I'm getting killed a lot because I'm playing on hard mode. <laughs> Back in the hole you come from. To the hell hole you come from, boy. I need to get a drink. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the other room. Ugh, give me a sec. Probably not gonna drink today, but uh, Arjuno, I, I had a few beers yesterday, so uh, just showing you what I got yesterday. But as promised to my good friend on Trustful, I got some good old Groshk. Got some Groshk right here. I pronounce it right. I still got two bottles left in there, but I'm probably not. I'm not gonna drink one tonight. Just gonna take it easy. Put on the hat. He flew into the vent again. Oh, he did? <laughs> Damn it, I missed. I was gonna look into it and then I missed. Dang it. Please tell me you equipped that, Equinix. 
What, that he flew through the vent? Yeah. Oh, I can clip it if you want to. Yeah, I missed it. Would you please? Cool. Uh, what did he say? Yeah, I didn't have the energy for a couple of you weeks. Sometimes being alterated or hypercritic during the day. Uh, I mean, I know that. Uh, I was tired. I was. I didn't do a voice chat yesterday because I was. I was getting pretty exhausted for the past week. I don't. Well, actually, not bad at work, but at the same time, had a good time and got too comfortable. Plus, sitting in this crappy chair is also a thing. Chairs with the Uncle Hooker Bree. <laughs> Goddamn right. Yeah, did you hear that, um, <clears throat> you heard that AJ's been losing weight lately? AJ's been... So what? Yeah, he switched from beer to vodka now. Oh. Well, that's no way of losing weight. Well, he's, well, accordingly he said it, it, it's Lord Carbs, because he said that beer's kind of the culprit, because he said, I'm tired of being fat and all, and he's like, and you're switching to vodka, it's like, you commie now? I just made a joke. Sorry, are you Kami now? <laughs> oh my God! You did not say that word. <laughs> yeah. You did not say that word. Come on. I put that in the. I, I said it not on the stream, but on the Discord. But you said it right now on the stream. Oh my God! I'm just joking with him because you know, I did a joke. That's why. I sent you the clip. All right. well, at should, well, at least you didn't say. Go back to Russia. <laughs> no. Okay. No, no. Hey, I should fine. shut up. I should shut up right now. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some water and go for a quick toilet break. All right. All right. Give me a second. I'm gonna do a quick screen. Let's see. Oh god. Alright, here we go. I'm watch I put it up the stream. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, that leather fly is so good. That's gonna be such an amazing thing. <laughs> It's going to be a problem when it switches to freaking lads on the divine drivers. God, like even that too. It's like, especially with the with the PSP thing. Yeah, I probably should. I I'm actually been thought to myself lately, Adriano, that I should probably get myself a PSP because why not? That's something I have never did and touched before because I missed out a lot of things. Oh God, I hate these things. Warning. Chamber malfunction. Save. Oh. Oh, you're referring to HA vodka alcohol in the Oh <laughs> Man, did you send that message to him? Yeah, that's what happens on being a dumbass. Come on, you're know, you not gonna let me get in there? You're not gonna let me get to the barrels? Alright, fine, I'll shoot the barrels myself. Yeah, he had to. He had to switch the. He's been such a freaking lad. I agree. <laughs> but it's all good. But at the same time, in his all seriousness, at least he admits he's trying to lose weight. Gotta go get yourself smoke. All right then.
Cool thing that the imp jumped out, I'll throw a grenade at it. I have to admit, I have to say that uh, all the Revenant's design in Doom 3 is actually really cool, which I really adore. Oh yeah, Ardrael. Uh, oh wait, he went for a smoke. I'll wait for him to come back. Uh, anybody remaining in the chat, um, I'm just letting you guys know that I have a voting, I got a voting going on on my community tab, uh, which is in my YouTube channel. Uh, just to let you guys know that um, I'm holding a vote, and I got five different games that I'm giving you guys a pick to choice. What? To vote what game you guys want me to do next after Doom 3 and Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil. Uh, so far we got, um, we have 15% vote of the Diablo games 1 and 2, which is in first place. Second place, uh, Ultra Friend Boo to Diablo. Uh, second is about 30% of Blood Rain 1 and 2 Thermal Cut. And the rest is about 9%, which is Silent Hill 2 on the PC. We got two rock games and also including uh, Darkstone. So, so far Diablo games is in the lead with 50 vo 50 percent votes. So we got so far 12 people have already placed their votes, and by so far it looks like that Diablo games are gonna be be the winner. But anything can go. If anybody hasn't voted yet, please place your votes in the community tab. You can also leave a comment section down below and let me know if you guys. If you want to be the extremist for good reason. Uh, but until then, uh, I'm going to continue doing those games until Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut will be coming out on the 16th of May on PC. Finally coming out after two years. Actually, actually pretty much for four years. Actually, four years. But yeah. Going to the storage room. What is it? What is what is Psycho trying to do? He's just memeing around, I think. Oh, he's memeing around. Yeah, I was watching the jetpack, and that's so the jetpack is still broken, bug as usual. The one we used it. He's flying around. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> snakes now. He's flying around in it. <laughs> oh, he didn't die. Oh, he didn't die. I mean, he probably broke a couple of few ankles, but he's still alive. fly on his face. <laughs>
I'm back. Welcome back. You know, haven't missed much. Just me killing demons. Well, I sure took my sweet time. Yeah, you just didn't. You didn't miss much. <clears throat> All right. So, uh... hey, Ultra Fan, we're go I'm not gonna say it here, but you probably know what I'm doing. Saying any results of uh, you know what. Oh, no. No? Okay. No, 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 no. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Man, every time I come into the base like this, this is all like dead space all over. But dead space is a lot darker. I know. Compared to this. Compared to this. This, but this, uh, like, this space is like crazy compared to this game, what you're playing, honestly. Yeah. I like I I love I, I both don't forget I love Doom Three and Dead Space. I know, but just the atmosphere—it's like Dead Space. Like compared to like unlike the Dead Space compared to this, like Doom Three's got a lot of lightings, but when it comes to Dead Space, everything's like absolutely dark cornered, and you have a flashlight uh, on your gun. Yeah, and let's not also forget that. Uh, okay, I I mean I understand Dead Space Three with call works perfectly okay, but. Okay, I understand for the first one, no co-op whatsoever, but the second game, they should have added co-op online on the second game at least. Well, well, they should have, but at the same time, they also had the multiplayer session. They do have multiplayer, but the bad news that's is... A player, that's a player versus player only. Yeah, bad news is that that multiplayer session has been shut down by EA. Of course, why am I not surprised? Mm -hmm. EA always shuts down a lot of things. Look at this way, they shut down a couple few good Battlefield games for me. Like Bad Company 1, 2, and Battlefield 1942, which is only arcade exclusive only. Which I enjoyed that, and I got all the uh, Xbox achievements. But I never got the chance to play Dead Space 2 multiplayer, because that looked really interesting to something we could do, but, but it looks like it's too late. But if a fan, I'm pretty sure somebody in the fan community is going to bring it back with a different server, but we'll see. But yeah, but that thing is only player versus player, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, it's player versus player. But, you know, we'll probably have, like, just, you know, a few friends. We'll just rather play it with friends, you know, better than strangers, you know? Yeah, but... that's true. <laughs> yeah. Only, only there's, a, only there's one teensy little problem. Hmm? I don't know Dead Space 2, man! <laughs> Only well, three. Well, you're probably not gonna like me to say it, but if you expect me to send you copies of Dead Space 1 and 2, good luck. Well, maybe two, well, maybe two but not the one. Unless I'll do it the remaster, remake, because apparently the I'll, one. I'll probably send you, if I send you a remake, apparently it's a better bat combat system than the original in some places. Yeah, because. I remember I Whoa. played the demo. I, I played the demo version. Whoa! What? The what? ground texture is blue. Move it on. It's blue. What? Why is that Let blue? See. You see it? Are you seeing this shit? Yeah. Yeah. What the heck is going on there? Is that a texture that, glitch or something? That's weird. I don't recall seeing that blue. What the hell is this? I think. I think it's a texture glitch. That has to be. That, it's got to be some sort of reflection. Like, I don't recall seeing reflection off the ground blue. Like, there's no way. There's well, that's because no you way. you played on the original Xbox 360 with no yeah. mods in it. Yeah. But, no, I played that's the original what... Xbox and the original PC of Doom 3. Like, nothing <laughs> comes like this. It only ha- Like, okay, so, like, I'm not moving, right? Yeah. There's no blue. But if I'm moving around with my mouse, it's somehow- It's, like, reflecting blue. That's definitely weird. It's like, I don't it have a card seeing that. No, I think it's a glitch. I think it's a texture probably, it's glitch, gotta man. Be, it's probably a, some sort of reflection bug or some sort. Something like well, that. I'm just gonna have to ignore it. Alright, so I'm RoboCop now, and I'll punch everybody's balls in the prison riot. I punch in, I punch you in the face. I punch you in the balls. 
I'm just glad that I did I did not stream the the entire game of uh, RoboCop on the of, of the NES version because I would be probably shitting myself. Yeah, you heard that the the NES version of RoboCop is super easy, twice as hard. Well, the first one and the fourth one are pretty okay. The second one, I have issues with it. Is there a reason? Yeah, a lot. Uh, when you when you finish the mission, when you finish the when you finish a level on the game on the on RoboCop Two, right? Yup. Uh, there are some things that you didn't do. Uh, yet, I mean, like you didn't destroy enough nukes, you didn't you didn't save enough civilians and all that shit, or make some arrests, and you had to and you have to restart the entire level all over again and try oh, to do god, it. Oh god, that okay. that mechanism, ah oh, Jesus. Second, second, you Just... you finish the entire thing, what you had to do, and you enter in a bonus stage, also obligated to do everything. If you didn't do everything. Too bad you're not doing the second level until you do the bonus level. So try the le so try the previous level again. <laughs> woo! That's all I can say. Whoop-de-doo! Is... Whoop Whoop-de-doo! If even Alex Murphy wouldn't agree to that uh, that uh, thing. Really, you stupid revenant! All right, you know what? I'm gonna throw a grenade at you. Again. Oh, you went so out yeah, the door. As, you did. So yeah, as for Dead Space One, I I tried the demo version on the PlayStation Three like years ago when I played the uh, when I when I installed Godfather Two, right? Because in the Godfather Two disc on the for the PlayStation Three, it includes also uh, a demo version of God of uh, of Dead Space One. I installed it and I tried to play it, but I can't do it. I really can't do it. The mechanism and the combat system in the game itself is really annoying. I had I adopted it very quickly. I adopted it very quickly, but I get your point. That's why I was thinking maybe I should send you the remake of Dead Space because apparently it's a lot easier. Apparently, you think? That's what they you said. You think? That's what I said, but you know, I'll just send you a remake of Dead Space so you can um, see it for yourself. So I can see it for myself. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Besides, I'm 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 still not gonna buy Dead Space remake unless someone gifts me it. Yeah. It's just I'm so annoyed with the whole cringy thing about it but i'm just gonna I'm just, bite the I, bullet. but speaking of but speaking of remakes i'm curious how when they're going to bring max Payne remakes or remaster whatever they like to call it for the for the first one and the second one if there's enough if there's enough demands then the, they could oh you're sending out your chin gun man huh come on yeah he's dead the hand grenades in this one are weak. They're funky, but they work. Oh, there's written all over the place. I'm a Drew. Uh, I can't read it. It's all something game something. Well, folk. Oh. Oh, you're sending me a ribbon and hiding in the dark, eh? Oh, not anymore. And you got some imps. Bring them on. I'll send them back to the hell hole they come from. Yeah, good luck with that. <clears throat> well, it's already done because I killed them all. <laughs> Alright, pad number two. Pad two selected. I'm gonna do a quick save before before I go to the portal to hell. Through the colon. And there's a PDA. I came in here because this door was blocked from the inside. And I need the PDA. Welcome back, Ardino. Uh the Welcome back, screw Adriano. Uh the Bandonet screw up and they created a new or new or update Max Payne. Still have a bad aftertaste with the last one. This one was a dog. A dog? Yeah, this one was a dog. Oh dog, oh. I think it's 
I would, I would dog say dog shit. Yeah, dog shit. Yeah, uh, by the way, Ardernell, um, I was about to tell you this since before you went for a smoke break. Uh, if you go over to my community tab on my YouTube, I'm holding a vote. So I want to hear, I want you to pick a vote which game you guys want me to see next after I'm done playing the expansion pack of Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil. Uh, so far I got Diablo games, I got Turok, I got... Is that... Shut up, Ultra. I can't help it, You sound man. like a dog. You sound, you sound like a Halloween dog when you do that. So I say, yep. Yeah. So I say, Diablo games, I got Turok. I also got... I also got Silent Hill 2 on PC. I also got... I also got Darkstone, which is a... Darkstone is an RPG game, which is developed by Dolphin Interaction. And then this is something that Ultra Fan loves to go over the place is uh, Blood Rain 1 and 2, Thermal Cut. So I got five of those games on vote. Uh, everyone knows about hey. Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 was... Silent Hill was made by Konami. Darkstone was made by Dolphin but Interactions. Diablo's Blizzard. And also, of course... Everyone knows what uh, Tarak has made. Was made, well, was made by, was made by, um, was made by Acclaim or Iguana Entertainment at the time. Of the guys. Ah, Adriano's with me. Adriano's with me. Screw it. Blood Rain, why not? <laughs> See that? I knew you were on our side. Well, good job, Adriano. I told you. Yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, Tarak... Tarak was brought back by Night Dive Studios, which props to them, because I love Night Dive Studios. They brought back a lot of good remasters again, such as, like, Turok Dinosaur Hunter, Turok 2, Seas of Evil, and Turok 3, which they just did. They just did, uh, Turok 3, Shadows of Oblivion. These are all for the Turok games from the N64. And, of course, they did a remaster of Star Wars The Dark Forces. But I put down Turok games because, you know, I love Turok games. I grew up with the N64. So eventually I will be doing Turok games eventually. Yeah, and Turok games is a must that I must have as well because it reminds me of Serious Sam. Pretty much. Uh, Arthritis says, we already decided on Diablo, but we'll leave up to the votes to give everyone to lose and all the democracy. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, pretty much so far, pretty much... I personally agree with you, Arduino, and with you, Arthritis, with your statement. Arthritis is a statement, and also Arduino's vote. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, Scott House is doing another Demon Star wrap up with the hot stuff. He's still working on that. Anyways, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna ignore that. So, we'll go to my community chat. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Uh, nothing votes. No, I don't see a vote. Uh, so far, Diablo still in the lead, and Blood Rain 1 and 2 is 25%. So, yeah, Arjunel, if you want to place a vote, place into the vote to my community tab, so I want to make sure it counts. Just to say, just make sure you place your votes in and make sure it counts, because saying in the chat, kind of counts but i would like to suggest to put your votes into the voting chat so make sure it's uh to act is all fairness and true classic yep I, I that's why i love about eventually that's why i want to do um that's why i've been doing this past year doing some old content that i decided <laughs> that i want to do some retro content stay away from mod the new games these days oh, you want to know what the now go ahead go ahead and uh, I did say this on my channel. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut is coming out on PC on the 16th of May. But I will be streaming it on the 17th of May. Because, you know, work duties. But we are going to be... I am going to restream Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut on the PC. That's going to come out. So we're going to do the day after... The after day launch. After day one patch launch. <clears throat> so, uh... I am going to restream and revisiting Ghost of Tsushima for the first time that I did two years back in the PS4. And uh, I also made an announcement on my Discord an announcement on both, well, on the Discord and also on my YouTube channel. I am going to be going back from, well, people will say JRPGs, but I call it RPGs from Japan. And it's going to be sometime this year in the summer. 
this time sometime this summer. So my guess is it's probably going to be maybe Final Fantasy 13 because I'm actually had plans with Final Fantasy 13 for some time. That's something that I never played or never touched before. Uh, but I'm really concerned. Just not going to do all the pre sequels. I'm just going to do one Final Fantasy game, one after another, and I'll save the pre sequels within sometime next year or later on this year. Depends. I'll make up my schedule. So yeah. So it'll probably be Final Fantasy 13, or I might probably put in a vote with Dragon Quest 11. Uh, Echoes of the Ages, but my guess is my my only solution is going to be Final Fantasy 13. So yeah, so um, all right, there we go. All right, there we go. There's the vote. 13 votes now. Blood Rain's 31. Diablo's 46. But like our like all like our tried to say, we'll just leave up to the votes, and we'll go from there. But it seems that it looks like it's gonna be it's gonna be Diablo so far. But like I said, any vote goes. I'm not rooting for anybody. Like I said, I'm not rooting for anybody. This is up to your guys' vote. Anything can go. And we all we will accept that. And even though if Ultra Friend doesn't get the vote the win that he wants, but like I said, I will make it count, I will make a fair statement. After Diablo games, then we'll jump on to play Blood Rain 1 and 2 Thermal Cut. To be a fair, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be awesome. But on Blood Rain's games, I'm sorry to say this, man, but you're gonna need the God mode on this game. Well, I'll just I'll just play my way. So, uh, let's see. I'm just uh, saying. Uh, let's see. Yep. Having a lot of thoughts and pleasure playing this N64 since you never had the hardware back in the day. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Arjun out said, "Our oh, man can't wait to see Bart turning red when I showed that big black box of Hocus Pocus on your shelf." Yeah, he's gonna turn red after he's gonna play Car Armageddon next Monday. Yep. Yeah, I saw you put up your vote, Arjun out. Thank you for the vote. But yes, like I said once again, folks, anything can go. I'm not rooting for anything. It's up to you guys to choose the vote. Eventually, unfortunately, Darkstone, Silent Hill 2, and Tarot Games is not getting much votes, but hey, it's fine. At least one of those games will be on my list this year. But yeah, Tarot Games, th those, I like I said, I, eventually I'm going to have to get it's those things as well. Yeah, just get, just try to get them at discount. I would say hold off on Shadows of Third Turok 3, Shadows of Oblivion, because that's like 30 euros. Just yeah, I know, I know, I know. I saw that uh, the, for the entire package, it cost like 62 euro. Yeah, I would say wait for a discount. It's just like with the original Turok. Well, the original Turok is called Turok Dinosaur Hunter. You want to know what I upgraded on Robocop up until now? Which one? Not sure how we've gone this long without Vitality up to level 6. Engineering also to level 6. Focus, mm -hmm. the same thing. Yep. Psychology, also level 6. And now yep. I'm working on deduction to reach it on level 6. And then I'll be focusing on the scanning and then armor and combat. Yeah. To, re to reach at least to those at level 6 at least. And when I'm going to yep. play the game again someday, I'll then I'll play on the new game plus mode and then try to get all the, the upgrades. But I don't think there's an achievement for trying to get all the upgrades. No, there isn't. You If you upgrade just... if you, own, you own, There's only two if you upgrade just one of them to max, that's it. Yeah. So, I wouldn't have to worry about that. I'm 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 probably have to get back to play Robocop Game Plus. I'm missing three achievements that I miss. Yeah, I'm there's missing that, it too. There's that there's that bull there's that bullshit thing you gotta do. You have to beat a level within ten minutes and try to save the hostage. Which that's gonna be annoying. Yeah. And the other thing is you have to find that secret room within the arcade, which is way back in the beginning. Because I try to go into that arcade building. I didn't, I didn't have found it. I don't think I found it. I would say check just I would say check your achievement just in case if you did or not. Yeah, I'll check it out. Uh, Arjunino said uh, one of the reasons you always check is there a any deal dot com, which is why you pay you pay top dollar if you don't have to. Hey, that's one way to do it, man. I would, I don't have arguments with that. You know what's also um, 
Annoying. Uh, remember the, the level at the, at the uh, construction site? Yeah, I remember that. That's, that one's annoying. That one's annoying, and I couldn't do the achievement to beat at uh, 209 on, oh. the, uh, on, the, on the, the how many kills. Oh, that one. Yeah, that that yeah. that that's a that's a fuckery, man. The only way you can get that achievement is if you have all the upgrades and if you got the best um, device. Yeah, if you to have use the best automatic pistol. Yeah, if you have the best set, then you are able to do that. Yeah, only that. Yeah, that's bullshit. I I I think I you I think you saw you saw me did that I did stream. I think I oh, failed on that one. I don't remember. I think uh, I don't know either, man. I'm just saying, like, what happened, what you need to do. I mean, this is annoying bullshit. I mean, and uh, and that's not all. At at the bank, another competition I gotta do, and uh, and I gotta I gotta prove to the OCP that I'm better than them again to have more more killings yep. than them. But unfortunately, these guys cheated because they brought free Ed 209s on the building. Yeah, that's the one that you have to do when you're fighting the crooks. Yeah, that's the that's the shit I hate. I had to restart it because of how annoying it is. Yeah. Oh, and the bomb, I disarmed it on the first shot. Good. That's what Robocop would do if that was in the movie. Yeah, but now I have to focus on the other bomb that's gonna be arriving. Yep, that bomb. That yeah, you... bomb is gonna be a bitch. Yeah, that bomb's gonna be a bitch, because the first one you did, that was just easy task. That's why you have to upgrade it to level six to disarm it yourself. That's why the good thing is that's I'm so glad I pulled you into that bomb diffuser because I need to die just in case if I fuck up. Yeah, was it too late that I was colorblind? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh my god. You're never Washington. You're never colorblind. Yeah, blame Washington for that statement. Some bitch. <laughs> Some bitch. <laughs> oh my god. How can you say that? You're working at the police department, but you have you must know that you have to do the, the bomb diffusing guns. And you and then you're reading a manual what you gotta do and you're telling me, uh, is it too late that I have that I'm colorblind? Oh, really? Oh my god. What a brightest idea to what a greatest brightest idea to say. Like yeah, that's that's like that's that's so useful for the statement. Jesus Christ, God, Washington's not. God, Washington is not the brightest. But honestly, uh, remember the the side quest with Washington that he uh, to save the cat that he wanted to break the boss, he wanted to uh, to play the piano and all that. Yeah, he had to break the piano. Yeah. Okay, I let him do everything. I let him do everything, all the work. I said to myself. You know what? Let's see what the kid can do. If you want to break his arms and legs by breaking some woods and all that shit, let him do it. Let him do it. Why Robo? Why should Robocop dirty his hands? Yep. So I so I let the kid do it to broke the uh, to broke the the woods, right? And nothing happened to him. <sighs> he broke it. I mean, he broke the he broke the the piano to uh, to get uh, no, not the piano, the door. To oh open yeah, the he broke the door. Yeah, smart kid. Uh, smart kid's a muscle man, uh, muscle uh, uh, maniac apparently. Yep. And of course, yeah, yeah. Fuck I OCP. Gave, I, I agree. So yeah, I gave him. I gave. I told him to do everything, and he got the respect he deserves on the police department because everybody was picking on him. Well, yeah, just well, because well, he worked. Well, because he's because also he worked for the OCP. Uh, yeah, exactly. But he didn't want to. But he didn't want to report to them anything anymore. Well, at least he did the. At least he did a smart move, not reported to Becker. God, I hate that Becker. Was the, God, I hate, I hate Becker, Becker so much. He's Becker such a got, prick. Beck, uh, Becker got what he deserved. Yeah, and he is such a prick too. Because every, because you hear me the entire thing, I was like, I want to punch that guy in the face so much. Yeah, I want to punch him in the nose myself. Every time when I go to the office, I see him. Man, can I punch this guy in the nose already? No. He's like no. No, it's like, don't kill. It's like don't kill. It's like don't kill the it, poor it, sap. Just break his no, nose. Just give him a broken nose. That's all you says, need to do. It says no. Uh, the 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 problem is Directive Four: Never harm an OCP employee. Screw that! I would just do that myself. Because 
it, it it's part of the original Robocop one. That too, Dick yeah. Jo Dick Jones implanted it. Remember, the, the only reason that the Robocop killed Dick Jones is because he uh, is because he got fired, and that's the reason Director Four was not a pro was not useful for Dick Jones anymore, and that's how he got shot. But uh, but then on Robocop 3, when he was trying to defend himself, the Director 4 program appeared again. Never harm an OCP oh, employee. Oh god, wait a minute, I gotta open this door, do I? I mean, that's, yep. that's pretty annoying, isn't it? Very. Very. Decontamination process but hey, you know, even Becker was not in the movies, but he would have been really good at... Protagonist. Uh, oh, what's the word? Protagonist. No, not protagonist. That's the main character. Oh, um, was it Anton? Oh man, I can't. Oh my god. I can't. Protagonist. Oh my god, I can't. I can't think. My my brain's just shut it down. Antagonist. That's it. That's it. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's uh, antagonist that Adrian L said. Thank you. God, my brain was like my brain was just melting over the the whole thing. It drives me nuts. But yeah, he, it, Becker would have been a cool antagonist, but no, he wasn't in the movie. Pad two selected. But man, I really had a blast screaming Robocop Road City. I really did. Yeah, you play. You played on normal difficulty, right? Uh, yeah, I did. So am I. Good. Because I wouldn't play a hard mode because you need. I would say if you're gonna play a higher hard difficulty. Mode? Oh god, you need the best experience with this game. Just max out your. Just max out. Just max out Alex Murphy. That's all I can say. Exactly. Problem, uh, not the uh, problem is also that uh, Alex Murphy doesn't crouch in this game at no, all. He, no, he doesn't. I don't know why they didn't put that in there. I don't know either. He doesn't even jump. No, I he mean, never. Okay, I understand. I mean, okay, I understand. He's a heavy robot and all that shit. But dude, at least put him a jetpack so he can jump. They never give him the jetpack. Give him the never the jump. Never the crouch. So it's like, just give him the goddamn crouch. Give him the goddamn crutch mechanism, for God's sakes! Like, you guys got everything pretty much right, but at the same time, you miss- there's a few futures that's missing. Like, he crouches and he jumps his, from the original movie, and he has a jetpack, but yet you guys didn't do that. It's like, what the hell are you guys smoking? It's like, who's I- pot. who's bright as idea? They're smoking pot, man. That's what they're smoking. Pot. They're on they're smoking on something. I wouldn't say pot, but they were smoking something. But, whatever. But at least I enjoyed it, regardless. Yeah, I also enjoyed the game as well, man. I really do lo love this game. It is a, it is a reminder of, Rob of from Robocop uh, 2 and 3. Yep. Pad 2 selected. But just give that boy some, give our boy Alex Murphy some jumps and jetpacks, bro. It's like that needs to be a thing. And a crouching ability as well. But no. <sighs> hey, at least they made they also made Scooch from the uh, the band. They have that weird haircut though. <laughs> I'm just ignoring the blue oh my floors. God. Imagine, imagine a DLC content for Robocop having a skin to play as Alex Murphy. <laughs> mm. how, fun, how fun would that be? That would be something. Yeah, but they, they do have the skin, but that's from the Robocop 2, the blue one. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, I did look it up. It's I don't actually... know, I never checked. I never, ch I never checked the DLC. Honestly, I never know what was that all about. That was uh, just to basically, if you're a very hardcore uh, RoboCop fan, you want the blue skin from the uh, the second one, because I think the first one was more of a. Actually, I don't know. Well, actually, it was between the, because the the game takes place between 
the second and the third one of RoboCop. Yeah, exactly. I never bothered the third one because the third one was not made by uh, Peter Weller because they replaced him. They replaced him because they uh, he was sick back then. Yeah, that was a shame. It was a shame if he wasn't sick and all that. He would have played the RoboCop 3 movie, but unfortunately, they, he, he was sick of it. I don't know what yeah, exactly Alex, happened. Yeah, Alex is a but... cyborg, not a robot. There's a difference. Well, yeah, but still. Time to go to hell! Oh my god. I'm at the hospital, man. Making progress, Marine. Well, I'm seeing dead bodies like like you've never seen before. Corpses yeah, that everywhere. Was, yep, that was the mercenaries' work. Oh boy, we're getting closer to the portal to hell. Hey, Adriano, let me tell you something, man. I'm the reason Freddy Krueger moved to Elm Street. <laughs> you want to move to Mars Street? You will never find the thing you seek. It is trapped in hell forever. Yeah. I will go to hell. I will go to hell and I'll come back from hell with the soul cube. Despite you have halls with bloody corpses is everywhere. It's not going to stop me, Petruger. <laughs> and Quidditch is asking, a Roborg or a Cyborg? Yeah. <laughs> Side oh, bot. <laughs> Hey, can we have the robot from, uh, from Lethal Company? The old bird? <laughs> Ultra uh, can we have the, can we have RoboCop 2 bot in the Lethal Company? <laughs> Looks like we got a major cleanup in aisle 6. Yeah. Well, I got a major oh, cleanup yes! on, on floor <laughs> number 2. I just heard that! <laughs> I just heard that! What? What? Yippee! 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 The soundboard! Yes! <laughs> yes! I could explain in the soundboard! Yippee! 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 Oh no! Yes, yippee! <laughs> no. Well, I'm glad I muted the soundboard on my side. Not me. Yippee! Yippee! Yes! <laughs> oh, Equinix, you're such a genius! Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. The yippee. Yippee! Lewis! Archer now says he's grabbed the shotgun. <laughs> oh, shit, no, 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 please, no. Don't tell me she's dead. Let's see. Oh, Ultra Fred. Oh, thank God. Ultra thank Fred. God. Ultra Fred. 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 Michigan blimp. Well, here we are. We're in, we're in the Delta Four Junction. This is all right, folks. So this is the uh, we're at the part that we're gonna finally go into Portal Hell. After four hours, we're finally here. Well, I found Lewis at the hospital. She's still alive, thank God. Whoa! Whoa! Chainsaw man! Wanna change our fight? Let's go. I win. With the despite the shotgun kill. Hey Ultrafin, would you volunteer to clean up all the blood on the floors? Hell no! Hey, I found a PDA who goes by the who belongs to the man who goes by the name Jack Gilbert. Well, at least it's not uh Gilbert what's Godfrey. Name? Played Diago? Yeah. Gilbert Godfrey? Nah. Let's see, locker code 014 is 5579. If anyone wants to check, uh, don't come. Not, no, my stream's not buffing. It's just my studio's being weird again. I, I put down the, I put down the lens setting down to low ultimate settings, so I'll make sure the chat's not. Let's see, there's a lot of blood. Suffer, die, bloody. And Poso, it's let's clean up all well ev everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Arthritis. Arthritis, send the picture to Ardrinell that what you found in Postal brain damage. He needs to get a good laughter. 
Just change him, Zan. Make Ultra Fin kind of useful for once. Sweeping all that blood from the hallways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to make Ultra Fin some kind of useful for once. Just clean up the whole bloodway in the hallway. Oh, yeah? Make me. I am the Mars Chainsaw Massacre. And so what? I'm better than Leatherface. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Leatherface can't no, do you're... shit here on Mars. He no, you're not, because uh, cause, cause there's two uh, reasons uh, for that. He's there's a two re- No. Uh, your face, uh, your face is normal, and life is cruel. Oh wait, what? maybe this could be just only one reason. I can have, the, I can have the WWE Mankind Mask to be my chainsaw massacre. <laughs> All right, save again. Well, here it is. I need to bring out the big boy, because guess what? You're going to see some very familiar icons from the Doom franchise. Pay attention. Pay attention, boys. You cannot escape. Oh, Chuga, you're demonic. Oh, yeah, because you are a demon. Okay, boys. Hello, Hell Knight! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Here they are, the two Hell Knights. yippee ki motherfucker! And double kill! I killed them both the BFG, as I should. Here we go, guys. We're going to hell. Through, through the demonic butthole. To hell. Okay, so I failed two objectives. I couldn't find a note about Wendell Antonowski oh, and, check this pris out. and, check out and prisoner screen. released from the freezer. Check out the loading screen. Ooh, Skeletor. Uh, oh, I love that loading screen. So, uh, so yeah, that's what I failed. The note about Wendell and prisoner released from the freezer. Where is it? Did they have freeze? Oh, uh, but I still get an A rank. But I still get an A rank. I don't think there's a there's a there's a higher than A rank in this game. No, there isn't. It's only A rank. Well, Ultrafin, welcome to our new home, Afterlife. Well, this this isn't the money I paid for the VIP lounge. No, well, it's in. Well, this is an entry. Hey, you can be the Thunder God of Hell. Well, where are my bitches? Where are the bitches? Where are all my bitches at? Come on, I need this. Come on, I need some. I need a score. Where are the chicks need at? This... Yeah, where are they? Where are the? Where are my bitches, man? Where are they? Whoa! Whoa! There goes that guy flying over the place. Where is he going? Oh. Where's the buddy and where's... going? And where's Satan? Whoa. I want to send him to, a, to the deepest docks of hell. Well, guess what? We see the dead guy go sleeping in the magma. Oh. Well, just like Bowser's castle. Yeah, how's it going, Beavis? <laughs> how's it going, Beavis? Yeah, the loading screen with the face that only a mother could love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is hell. Untrustable, if you're still here, we're here. We're in hell, man. Well, this is the VIP. We have VIP lounge we haven't paid yet, but hey, like I said, this is our entry. And the cool thing is, I don't have to worry about losing stamina because you can just run around anything you want because stamina is infantated. Hang on, someone's calling me. Alright. Alright, guys. I'm going to go for a quick break because I'm... Actually, I'm going to see if I can... Yeah, I'm going to go off to bed, so... Yeah, thanks for the videos. Be quick if you find more, send me to it. Yeah, sure, sure. Alright. Have a good, good night. night. Thanks for hanging out. All right, anyways, right, folks, uh, I'll be right back. I'm not gonna end the stream just yet because I want to still keep going. So uh, it's gonna be just me and Ultrafin. Actually, you want to go to the private chat, Ultrafin? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Why not?
All right, we'll switch over to private chat. This is probably gonna just be me and him. All right. Righty then. All right. All right. Anyways, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go for a. I'm gonna go for a dinner break. So uh, stick around. Enjoy some good. Uh, good. Dune GUI uh, loading screen from the music because that's I say what it's. That's what it's called during the when you're in the pause menu. So anyways, I'll see you guys in a quick pick. Stick around and uh, I'll see you guys real soon. Gonna go for a break.
Ooh, yeah. Welcome back. Argiano just left. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Alright, just give me a few things. And I'm playing target practice. Good luck. Alright, just give me a second. But yeah, I'm back. Whoever's left in the chat. Ooh. Had a nice taste. Nice tasty pork chops and rice and vegetables. Can I have some? Oh, there's some pork chops, but I ate all the rice. Oh, I want the pork chops. God damn it! There's still pork chops. Bullshit. All right. Bullshit. Come all on. Right. I hate I hate talking in practice. That's it. No more. What's your record? Three hundred. 300? Yeah. Yeah. I got all the achievements for the for this thing, but... Alright, I want to try what this is about. I bought this from a store. Uh, let's see. Blood orange flavor. One ingredient. Fresh, fresh blood oranges. Uh, let's see. Juice. Actually, I gotta shake this up a bit. I bought this from my local store. I saw this in the store. I'm like... Like, it was like almost five bucks to buy this. Like, holy shit. I was about to say, any more Romanian items? No, I got, I had, that's the thing. It was like, if I was going to buy Romanian stuff, I have to go to the international store. <laughs> and you don't want that, don't you? No, I would. <laughs> I would. You son of a... Actually, I don't know. Are they closed? Are they closed tomorrow? I'm gonna have oh, to look. If you dare. Don't you dare go tomorrow. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Mm, this is actually good juice. Where's my juice? Well, you shouldn't ask for. If you come over, if you come travel seven hours, I might give you some. Well, if you travel also seven hours over here to Romania, you get your half of ice cream as well. Uh, I, got, <laughs> I got my ice cream. <laughs> oh, do you want some blood orange flavor? Blood orange flavor? Of this Is juice? it Bloody Mary? No, it's a... Uh, it's a... Um, it's an Orchard Island juice. Kind of thing. Uh, if it's not Bloody Mary, then I don't need it. Uh, bloody money for us is what that's what we call the that's what we call our wine bloody mary mm. yeah but you know that there was actually a vampire who goes by the name of bloody mary bloody mary yep that i do good remember. <laughs> well we're maybe i think maybe, I, I think, I think maybe we should shut up about that yes because we don't want her to haunt us Oh cool, look at all the soul peoples that we have collected in for hell. What a VIP entry lounge. Okay. Oh god. What the Oh now you're gonna put me in a cage like I'm a dog? Oh boy, oh, oh. Oh god, that M's look demonic. Oh, Zen, uh, remember, remember that glitch you had once with the, with the cigarette in the ass? Yeah, hold on a second. Have a good night, Arch, have a good night, Arthritis. Sleep well, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night, Arthritis. Let me guess, did you encounter the same glitch as I did? Yes, I did. <laughs> I knew that was a, an official glitch. The cigarette it's... stuck to the guy's ass. <laughs> yes. The cigarette on the guy's ass. That was so funny. <laughs> it's like I should have saved. I should have made the safe and. Yeah, you should. You should have. You should have been saved the shave so I can see it again. It's like that's that's like that's not how you smoke cigarettes. I don't recall abusing your ass to smoke cigarettes. 
So it's not puffing smokes out of your mouth, it's puffing smoke out of your ass. <laughs> Oh man, that, that that's still one of the greatest glitches in the game, no matter what. <laughs> it is, but it's weird at the same time, honestly. It's weird. Okay, now I now I can find serve and protect much easier right now. I finished and updating. Okay, we have a hell knight. We have a hell knight that walks like an ogre. Oh god, the flies are here too. Not these, not these baby flies here. I found my chainsaw! Come here, you big... Come here, you big bitch. Come, Suzanne. Violation, oil spillage, ticket. Oh, God. Am I gonna die? Nope, I win! Yeah, I got... I got... I got damage to 23 health, but I, I killed him with a chainsaw. <laughs> Hell Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, cool. Ultraman, what a lovely screaming sounds. We are in hell. Ain't that the truth, isn't it? Well, you, if you turn on your volume from your phone, you might hear the oh. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Eric Sosa. Hey, hey, Eric, how's it going, man? It's been a while. How you been? Keep the bees, I don't need them. No, not the, they're, they're flies, not bees. They're baby bees. They're uh, a half, half baby infants and fly. It's like, yeah, you can keep them. Yeah, it's Doom 3 time. Yeah, I've been, we've been playing, I've been playing this for a while. This is Doom 3 on the, uh, the Doom 3 source port. Which is a modded version that, uh, somebody made in the Doom community to be a full resolution support. <laughs> of the cigarette stuck to the guy's ass. Oh my god, another violation. Drinking in public. Public intoxication? Yep, that's a, that's a, that's a no no. Every country has a rule like that. Public intoxication is a no no. Did you give him a ticket or issue the warning? I issue him a warning. Just to earn the public yeah. service. Yeah, what more can we give? What more can, do, can we give him, right? Yeah, uh, you only give a ticket to a person if they're being an asshole. Well, guess what? I got my chain gun back. Well, I give a ticket to a guy who was throwing the garbage can in the river. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a little, that's littering. That's, so, yeah, that's, that's littering. littering. So I said to myself, "Oh no, 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 that's no excuse, pal. Just because you missed the garbage truck, that doesn't give you the right to show to throw, uh, that, uh to throw uh, the trash on the river." People are yeah, drinking water from that river, you know? Yeah, that's drinking That's a drinking water supply, so plus people drive boats around there, and that's another thing. If boats, if one of those garbage gets hold of the, the, the boat's projectile, then that's gonna be an issue. A big issue. So yeah, I definitely, I gave him, I definitely gave him a ticket for that. Yeah, so did I. So did I. Yeah, the mod is so cool, Eric. I'm so glad the friend, a friendly friend of mine showed me this, and I'm like, you can actually put this on your Steam or GOG for a file, but I did it differently. I decided to make a separate file. Uh, this works only on Doom 3 and the Doom 3 expansion pack, Resurrection of Evil. So, if you have Steam or GOG, you can add it to the game's folder, and it will automatically, uh, it will automatically patch the game with the default, and if you can tell, the graphic looks, looks twice as better compared to what the original did. And I'm going to save. And, uh, one more thing, Eric. Welcome to hell. We went to hell on Mars. We went to hell from Mars, actually. No oh, yeah, parking violation next to the fire hydrant. Take it. Yep. By the way, Erica, if you remember what's going on, Ultra Friends playing Robocop. Robocop. Yeah, Robocop. sorry. Yeah, sorry, 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 folks. Just trying to make it fun. <laughs> yeah. He said that he. Well, yeah, I forgot. Eric is from Brazil. In Brazil, you can drink whatever you want. Yeah, but if you're drinking in public. 
Uh, being caught driving with any contains an alcohol to blood. Yeah, it's a serious crime. Everywhere is a serious crime. You're driving. If you're driving with alcohol in your blood system, that's DUI. So yeah, that's a serious. That's crime. a. That's a serious crime. Even here in Romania, it's the same issue. If you caught him drinking, uh, drinking, and you're driving right like that, no, nah, take it. Yep. Take your L's. You will get a suspended license. There's a rule too. If you're if you're caught doing that four times, it's an instantly revoke of your driver's license in the U.S. Yeah, and that's the goddamn truth about that. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, seriously, just take a tag, just get a cab, or have somebody drive you home if you can't drive, if you're that drunk. Or crash at your buddy's house and you sober up. Ooh, these little sorrow soul things are flying up in, this, in hell. Even like 0.001% mouth of the you can take it apart and you get arrested. Yeah. It happens here in the in the US. You cut they will tow your truck and they will take it and pound it. You'll you'll be going to jail for a couple of few days and then you gotta go to a court trial and then you have to talk to a judge and explain your actions. And Jessica's back and says that she's sorry her la laptop died on her. Oh, really? Your laptop died? Ah, uh, when you say that your laptop died on you, do you mean the battery is just dead and you need to recharge it, or is it like completely dead? Mm. That too. So, Eric also <laughs> said that Eric also says like 0.0001% amount they take your car and you get arrested. Yeah, that's the thing too. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys, I'm pretty sure in Brazil and anywhere else in the country, do you ever do a breathalyzer test for the police force? Yeah, she says uh, only to charge it. Well, good, because if you because because when you say that you when, that your laptop died and you, you uh, there's there's two there's a lot of background on that, a lot of gray area in that sector. There's a lot of gray area on it. That's why I, I, that's why you need to be specific with your words. No offense. Ultra fan. No question. offense. I will say question. Um, yeah. Your country in Romania, your when it comes to your police force, you guys do that breathalyzer te alcohol breathalyzer test, right? I think we do. I don't know. I never. I, I, my father never. Uh, when my when my father uh, drives uh, the car, he never drinks alcohol. He only drinks like uh, water or uh, uh, some juice and something like that. But never alcohol. When it comes to driving, he's all he never drinks alcohol. Yeah, and you, the thing is, what I when I talk about the breathalyzers, because my police, the police force here in the U.S. and elsewhere, they do a. A breathalyzer test on the driver like if they smell breath if they smell alcohol from the breath so they have to do the sobriety tests they have to do a thing called the sobriety test so basically you have to you have to deem to a driver if if he or she are safe to drive home but if not if they contain alcohol you have to do like touch your nose follow the eyes or count to certain numbers you have to stand on your foot and then last part least, they have to do a breathalyzer test and if if the breathalyzer comes out that your alcohol blood level, your alcohol blood level is over the legal limit, then yeah, you'll be arrested for DUI. So that's why I was thinking, oh, that's why I was asking you, because you know, if you watch videos, because especially here in the US, because we do that sobriety test seriously. Yeah, I know, ex I know exactly what you mean, man. I mean, I, I, I know, I know the laws and all that shit. I know exactly what you're talking about, but like I said, when it comes, my family knows uh, what it means to have a safety drive and all that, and that's why my father never drinks when he has his car with him. True. He always, he's always strict it, and he's always careful about that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, it's another thing too here in the U.S. I think you guys have it too. If you're being pulled, if you get pulled over, and the cop looks if you have an open container, they can give you a ticket for it. Yeah, and also they can give you a ticket for if they spot the if there's a light busted on your car. Yep, that too. Well, they if they they won't bust you for that. You just have to explain them. You kind of have to explain to them. You have to give them a good uh, excuse for it. Like say, yeah, like my, my headlight's broken, but at the same time, I need to on way to fix it. They will cut you loose. 
They will cut you loose, yeah, exactly. Come here, big. Ooh, there is the big Hell Knight. Hello there, big boy. Oh, God, that. Well, I'm doomed. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just got doomed. And then... Yes, you just got doomed. Yeah, we love you too, Jessica. Hooks from us as well. Listen, you guys. Oh, you're, lis you're listening to us while you're playing Russ? Very nice. There's the Hell Knife. There's a big boy. Round two. Come on. And I win. Payback. <laughs> <laughs> Payback's the bitch, right? Yep, Payback's the karma. I'm throwing multiple fireballs at me. Come on. So what's your hubby doing, Jesse? What are you doing, Jessica? What's your hubby doing? <clears throat> <laughs> well, a random skeleton fall from the ceiling landed on the ground where the lava is. No, oh, God. Listen to the sound of the beefy gun of the Doom 3 mod. That is a beefy gun. That's a beefy, healthy pistol. Oh, great. They sent me a, a freaking Minkabus. And these stupid flies. Get out of here, you baby demonic flies. Oh, God. This point is going to suck. Oh, you did a stream last night. What what was it about? Oh, there were Oh, she's playing Yeast. Which is a Ooh. uh what's to say? Just call it JRPG, but I call it RPG from Japan. Okay. I know what Yeast is. It's it's Ooh. it's it's a uh, I think it's from I forgot what company made that. But it's basically oh, one my. Of those, it's basically one of those anime styles RPGs. Okay, so Eric says that he's got his cola, his monster, his Red, Red Bull, Bull and sushi. sushi, and listening to you guys, I'm in heaven. Bye. You sure you're in heaven, Eric? Because I'm thinking with Red Bull like, I'm, holy shit. Co cola, Red Bull, monster. I think you're not in heaven. I think you're in the wrong place, man. Where B and Zan are. Damn, not be. <laughs> yeah, drinking a combination of cola, monster, and Red Bull. Yeah, that's gonna make your stomach shit your guts out, friend. It'll shit your guts out, bro. Oh yes, you're in hell, but you're in hell right now. Sorry to tell you this, Eric, but that's where you are. <laughs> He's talking about this hell. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. And my favorite health, my favorite health indicate number sixty-nine. Oh my god, would you stop that? <laughs> yeah, it's a role-playing anime game. Yep, that's what it is. With the nickel emoji. Well, time to go berserk! Oh god. And the thing is, I'm invincible. I'm in god mode. Time to kill everything I see. Wait a minute, did you say you're in god mode? Yep. Cheater! He using cheats! He using cheat codes! Nope, it's the Berserk doing it! I'm using it! Yeah, now we have to... And now we have proof that you're that you're cheating right now! <laughs> no, that no, was in the game. Cheating. It was actually in the game. There no, was that little floating, There was a floating... There was that floating skull, and then when you use it, that was a... It automatically gives you a Berserk mode, you could just go crazy for 30 seconds. You kill anything instant, and you're invincible for 30 seconds. So, ah! Go off. What happens when you play Doom 3 before, bro? Yeah, well, you guys still don't have any proof that I cheated on Captain Claw, in which way I did not. Tell, tell that to Bart, not me. 
I told him about a hundred times. Did he? Does he listen? No. Yeah, it's a boost. That's what it is. It's it's basically a boost. Yeah, full disclosure. That skull that's floating. That's a boost. Which is actually in the Doom Three multiplayer as well. But the thing is, any time. But the thing is, it's not like in the campaign. It's not like in the campaign that you can use it and be invincible from demons for certain seconds. The enemies in the um, in the multiplayer can still kill you, and they can still use it. Well, we're on the PDA name Simon Gerlich. This is the audio log of research specialist Simon Gerlich. Dated August 8th, 2145. I would laugh if this guy's last name was it Garlic like instead of Garlic. Of it's almost saying team. Garlic, but it's Garlic. I don't know how it happened. This place... Well, I don't know what this place has done with them. One moment there, I'm taking samples... And okay, I'm so... I, I turn around and everyone's gone. There one second, turn around... And they're gone. I can't raise anyone on the comics. And the only signs of the team I can find are tools and other personal effects. You know what's also weird for Robocop game, Zam? Yeah. You can never tell. Uh, have you done. Have you found all the secondary objectives that you need to do and all that shit or not? Not all of them. No. I did. I did. I did not all of them, but I did find. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you find some of them and all that, but when you, like, try to, you, you investigate the entire area, like, three or four times, and, dude, it said, I, I couldn't find anything, anything, anymore else. What do you want me to find? I don't know how I've survived this long, how I got away. I, I don't really don't get, the, I, I really don't get this game. I really don't get these guys who created this game. I mean, no offense, I mean, I like the game. I, it, it is enjoyable. I'll be honest, but they should have at least added uh, to the map itself to say that these are the secondary objectives that you may want to uh, go and investigate. Try them. Yeah. But they did it. You played this game a little long, long time ago. You were only twelve. I was ten when I, 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 I was like ten years old when I first played this. I'm convinced they are. And yeah, when I was ten years old, I beat this game. To stay two steps ahead of I, I can see them in the shadow. Hey, Zombie Slayer, there you are. Welcome back. Uh, what have you told me? Thanks for the Zombie Slayer, thanks for the like. I'm not sure how much longer I, 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 I can I'm shooting in shadows here. And every moment I feel the Okay, so now I must investigate who killed Simon Page. Down, down, down. Ah, Simon Pitt, that mission was something. That reminds me, I'm gonna quick save. So, yes, uh, forgot to get, since you guys showed up, um, I got a little voting. Th Actually, I can show this. I'm gonna pause this real quick. Give me one second. So I'm going to let me pull this up and uh, I'll explain to you guys in the chat that what's going on. Ultra Fan heard this so many times, but it's nice for me to. I'm done saying it. I'm not going to do it again. I'm done. Yeah, don't. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> just, I was I hate to say this to you, but shut up. <laughs> so, all right. So for all you guys and all you beautiful people in the chat. So what this is. So I'm doing this little vote since I haven't decided uh, what game I was gonna I'm gonna do next. Since I'm gonna be still going, since I'm gonna read this, since I'm still gonna be focusing on old school game content for a time being, I'm laying out some ideas for what game you guys want me to see to do next after Doom Three, which including Doom Three expansion pack of Resurrection of Evil. Until I'll be doing it, and I also made an announcement that uh, for those who have PlayStation, who is a PlayStation Four or PlayStation Five, or have not seen it. But Ghost of Tsushima, a uh, director's cut that was raided by uh, Monkey Punch Studio, is officially releasing Ghost of Tsushima on PC for the first time since it was launched in 2020 to 2021 on Steam. And it's going to be coming out on the 16th of May. So I'd like to see you guys in the chat that I place a vote that which games you want me to do 
after we're done with Doom 3. And of course, I did announce that I will be going back from what to say, I call it RPGs from Japan or anime RPGs, what to say. Uh, it won't be happening until it won't be happening until the summer. Uh, I don't know which one is going to be, but my guess is I'm probably going to be mostly starting with Final Fantasy 13. If I decide if I'm not going to do that, because I know Final Fantasy 13 is one of those games that I have yet to touch and I haven't never played it for years. And I know there's a lot of hate with Final Fantasy 13, but I'm going to be willing to give that game a shot. And of course, I'm going to be streaming it from Steam. And of course, I'm going to be adding a little bit of a, a mod patch to make sure the game is fixed so it doesn't conclude with bugs. But apparently, there's some text issue. There's some bugs into the uh, the original that uh, Square Enix is at fault. So, I'll let you guys in the chat, if you guys haven't voted yet. So, I got a couple games that are officially in the votes right now. So, right now, we got 15 votes. So far, uh, Diablo games, which means Diablo 1, Hellfire, plus uh, the Hellfire expansion pack content. And Diablo 2, along with Diablo 2, Lords of Destruction. Uh, the boat is so far by 53%. It's in the lead with 53%. I also got Silent Hill 2 on PC, which is uh, the classic Silent Hill 2. Not the remake, because the remake is not yet out. Uh, Darkstone is a classic RPG that was originally developed by Dolphin in Interactions. Uh, I'm also hopefully to maybe do this, which is an old RPG of Darkstone. If you guys want to see me, I do a classic shooter from the Nintendo 64 era. It is going to be Turok, which includes Turok 1, uh, Dinosaur Hunter, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil, and Turok 3, Shadows of Oblivion, which all of them have been remastered by Night Dive Studios, because they're also the ones that remastered Shadow Man. They also just remastered Star Wars The Dark Forces, and they also did some other projects as well. And uh, the next thing, the next game, which is in second place with the 27% vote. This is another classic game that was originally from PlayStation 2 and Xbox. And I now got officially um, remastered, uh, re-released on PC. Is uh, called Blood Rain 1 and 2, the Thermal Cut Edition. So if you guys haven't, um, if you guys haven't vote yet, please do so. Go into the community on my Discord channel. I mean, not, <laughs> not my Discord, but go on to the YouTube channel. Go to the community. And push your vote, pick your poison, and uh, if you feel like leaving a comment session down below, if you guys recognize these games, and just leave a comment. If not, you can just place a vote. But so far, that Diablo games is in the lead by a 53% vote, and Blood Rain One and Two is in second place by 27%. Meanwhile, Turok games, Darkstone, and Silent Hill Two on PC are tied with the last place. So if you guys haven't placed a vote, place a vote now, and. Uh, We'll see what game I'm going to be doing. And whoever wins the most vote will be the winner and the next game I will be doing. So I'm just going to re-vote. And, uh... Oh. oh, look we got here. Third place, Silent Hill 2. is on 13% vote. So Silent Hill 2 got voted. So 13%, that's in third place. Oh, somebody broke the, the last place tide. Meanwhile, Blood Rain 1 and 2 Thermocut still in third, third, second place with 25%, and Diablo Games is still in the lead with 50% votes. So, yes. still. So, like I said, I'm leaving the votes up until around maybe at least probably until tomorrow or until Monday. And uh, I will announce the winner of the votes. Whoever gets the most votes will be the winner, and the games will be picked. And we're gonna be continue doing Diablo. We're gonna be continuing doing these games until Ghost of Tsushima Director Scott will be released on PC on the 16th of May. But unfortunately, I will not able to be available on that day because I got some personal life uh, stuff to do. So the 16th of May will be released, but I will be streaming it on the May on May 16th, as we call it here in the US. Or in Europe is the 17th of May, so that will be on a Friday. We'll do the, the day after launch game release date. So that is going to be fun. Me replaying Ghost of Tsushima for the first time since two to three years ago. Back when I was doing the PlayStation time. During the time when I didn't have a functional PC, but a PS4 was a thing for me back then. But now since I got a PC, so we're going to be going back to... The Island Tsushima, we're going to finally go murder the Mongols once again. As my job continues 
to do so. So, that's pretty much it. So, uh, that's pretty much what's going on. You played, like, 30 minutes of Final Fantasy XIII. Yeah, I, 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 I've, um... I, I never played Final Fantasy XIII. I know that game gets a lot of hate recently because of the character in the story mode otherwise. But at the same time, I'm willing to give it a shot and I'm going to make the judgment on my own. And if I like the game, I like it. If not, I will say so. But not of a bashing like other people else would do. And uh, I'm not going to play uh, all the pre-sequels because I'm, pretty, I'm sure that... Final Fantasy game is going to be a long session, so we're going to do one Final Fantasy game one at a time, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to playing RPG, anime-like and RPGs from Japan this summer, because uh, I still want to get, I also still want to try to get back into playing Dragon Quest XI. I did that a couple of years ago, but I stopped because of Ghost of Tsushima. So um, there's a lot of stuff I need to get back into. Am I waiting for Stalker 2? Uh, not in the moment, no. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 is the best. Yeah, to me, I like si I like Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. But I think, si to me, Silent Hill 2 is, to me, in my personal opinion, is the best Silent Hill game we ever got. And, uh, speaking of what's not great, me getting my ass whoop and killed by the demons in hell. Appreciate the loves, Jessica. Yeah, I love Dragon Quest as well. I have a, I have a PlayStation. I still have my PlayStation Two copy of Dragon Quest Eight: Journey of the uh, the Cursed King. I have not yet beat it, but because it's so long, I'm trying to have. I'm gonna have to get back into it and see where I left off. Because I know I, last time I played Dragon Quest Eight, is I fought the Kraken. I fought that giant Kraken, and that was it. Just gotta get my rockets. Oh, by the way, when you're in hell, you don't have your flashlight anymore. No, uh, that's why you're in hell. See, I think you have. No, I can't. No, it's not this way. I have to follow the demonic symbol. Let's see. Jessica says, my friend keeps saying use the light sword to beat the final boss and though your team was mad. No, you don't need to you don't need to use the light sword because you know that's a friend that's one of your friends' expectation. You don't need to beat the game with a certain kind of kind of weapon. Unless There's a different way. There's, There's a different, a different way. how to beat it. Well, except for me, I would have to play Shining Force too. I had to use the force sword to kill Zeon. Because I was, because Bowie was the only one who can kill, who can kill Zeon with the Force Sword, because he's the hero. All right, where the hell I need to go? It's been a while. It's been such a long, long, long time since I've been in hell. Check the map. Maybe there's something in there. Nope, there's no maps in this game. That's a thing. Oh, so I forgot. God damn it. No GPS. No mon. No map. No nothing. Well, you got a PDA, but that's just looking through emails and videos and audio and such. And how does that help you know where to go? No, but it helps me where the code numbers for the cabins are. You max level your character to level 99. Didn't beat it, so that's part of your stuck. Ah, oh, you're stuck on that. Oh, jeez. God, you know what? I should probably add that to the list. Play Kingdom Hearts again? Why not? But for that, you need to buy them on Epic. I have them on Epic. Oh, you bought them all? No, not the well, not all of them. I don't need to play 1.5 and 2.5 because I beat those before, dude. Yeah, I know, but I have two still. point. I have 2.8, and uh, I have Kingdom Hearts 3 and re and the reminded remix, the DLC content, which I have it. Ah, this way. It was this door. Duh. Of course. Find the way out. But yeah, after I'm done playing Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm done. I'm not touching that Riddle game or... I don't know when 
Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to come out. My guess is going to be just consoles only, unless PCs are in the, in the end of the bolt. I have my doubt that that's going to be available on PC when the time arrives. All Kingdom Hearts games were first available on the PlayStation consoles and the other devices. And then they were imported later on on the PC. So I really have my doubts they're going to import that thing early. Probably. Hey, Alberto Musquez! Alberto, where have you been? You're late! Did you get lost? Did you pull the Lake Kakashi? Kakashi Sensei late. I got my black cat got stuck in the path, so I took the other way around. Or I say nobody's gonna nobody's gonna buy that bullshit. It's like or an old lady crossed my path, so I had to help her on the way through. Nobody's buying that bullshit either. I got lost. Or I say I got lost in the path of life, so I turned myself around. Nobody's buying it. Kakashi, nobody's buying it. You're lying, motherfucker. Ooh, yep. Good. Oh, you send me Minkibus. Well, guess what? I got rocket launchers on my own. Fly goes the weasel. <laughs> oh, God, this thing's void being crushed. Fly goes the weasels for Minkibus number two. <laughs> Get this, I killed a lost soul with a rocket launcher. Oh god, the minky- there's a- there's a third one! Shit. But yeah, we gonna have to play Left 4 Dead 2 again very soon. But after Sonic yep. Racing, yeah, I want to play. I want to play World War Z though. That's an online call. Where the hell is this? Where's this fat chunky? Oh, there he is. Where's the fat bastard? There he is. No offense to say that to people, but I'm referring to the demon fat boy. <laughs> Just getting crossed by it. Alberto's doing doomtastic. Very doomy. Very doomy. If those who are in my live stream, thank you for coming. Make sure you hit that like button, because tonight I am playing the source port of Doom 3. Which is a modded version that the Doom community had patches, and it's the it's definitely the original Doom 3, but with better graphics and better control movements. Yeah, World War War Z, World Z is awesome. I I played it. I had it on the PlayStation account back then. I had a little fun. I had fun with it. Yeah, World. Is that War a is that a strategy game or what is it exactly? It's a it's a third person shooter, uh, survival horror. Ooh. So it's kind of, trying to say it's it's kind of like, uh, what's it not Red Dead? Red for Dead, but it's third person. It kind of follows the idea of the movie and the novel of World War Z. You're basically fighting the hordes of zombies. Of uh, the kind of like uh, Dead Nation or uh, Resident Evil or something like that. Something like that. But it has the same gameplay style as Aliens uh, Fireteam Elite. But, but yeah, Dead Nation was also a cool game on the pl I played on the PlayStation 3 account. Yeah, it's based on Brad Pitt movie. Yeah, it's based. That's what World War Z is about. Ultra Brand is about. It's based. It's based on Brad Pitt movie. Oh, hello! The lost souls! The lost souls! I'm gonna eat my souls. Oh, you can come get me, eh? That sucked. I got 52 health. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the Aftermath pack, uh, Eric. <laughs> Definitely buy the Aftermath, because that's... That contains the uh, the content. There's more extra content to it, so 
when you can buy a copy of World War Z Ultra Fin if you get to. If not, I'll just gift you it or you can buy it. Just buy the aftermath that, that contains the more episode content to it. There's only like five episodes in each of the campaign story. Well, that's a well, that's a game that uh, that's another multiplayer game that you and I can do as well. Then, yep. I'm hopefully we, and it's also uh, I think it's also cross play as well if I recall it. I know Aliens Fire Team Elite is cross play between I know. PC and PlayStation. Yeah, I know because I, I have both of them, but on the PlayStation Four, I only have the regular version of the game. Uh, on the PC, I have the uh, with the extension pack. True. I'll try not to get wasted, Jessica. So on that one with the World War Z, I may uh, think I'm gonna need your help on that one. No way, I got you covered. Oh yeah, Erica wants to play with Eric wants to also play with us. Alright. Okay. Well that's a good idea, why not? Let's say wait, are you on PlayStation? Are you on PlayStation, Eric, or on your on PC, just out of curiosity? All right, time to go Zan Chainsaw Massacre. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Eric's on PC, bro. Nice. Yeah. All righty then. Then you're going to then you're going to enjoy playing with us. Trust me when I say this, Eric. If you if if, if you if you like with with us, we the, me and Zan just play a, a bunch of co-ops games together. We played Dead Space Free. We played Resident Evil Five and Six. We finished it completely. Oh, uh, oh wait. Uh, what what else did we do, Zan? Resident Evil Five. We just got done playing I, Resident Evil Six. Mentioning, mentioning it, mentioning it. What else did we do? Because uh, I don't that, remember. That's pretty much it. Well, we, we, did played we did we played some multiplayer. We did some multiplayer sessions. We played the uh, Oh yeah, we played the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles together, the Shredder's Revenge with the DLC content and all. So we did we did a bunch. Well, me and Zan we both we're both uh, streaming on YouTube. I I also have a, a channel as well if you if you're interested on in checking it out. If you guys want to check him out, check out Ultrafin. It's in my description. We did. We both of us. If the we link do, is broken, if, if I have to say this, if the link is broken, guys, which I'm pretty sure it's broken on YouTube, but just put hashtag UltraFriend, not capital A, but the lowercase a. Or I can post the 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 the, the description the of the link on the YouTube chat. Yeah, go ahead. Because I can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, I was about to say, me and Zan do sometimes our separate uh, streams because some games cannot be played co-op, but we do it on our own time. You know, we do it on our own the uh, uh, when we uh, when we can. And also, and but also from time to time, he and I do some co cool co-op games that I met that I mentioned earlier that we did with. Uh, Resident Evil, we did with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and a bunch of stuffs. And when it comes to something that we both like, uh, we might do double stream from time to time. Yep. Because why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, don't worry, zombie. If they're gonna try to eat me, trust me, I can have a punch them or just use my chain, my my righty chainsaw. And here it is. Yeah, if you guys go check him out, give him some support. Give a like, a sub over there. Leave a comment below on the games. I stream a bunch. I play some. Of, I think some of you guys. Uh, I think Eric and Zombie already saw my uh, my first streams with uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Oh god! And I'm pretty sure that the uh, Zombie Slayer enjoyed it. Okay. <laughs> And him's body just flicker over the place. <laughs> Jessica says that they're throwing pokeballs at you. Uh, pokeballs at me. <laughs> I'm like the what humanoid. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm I'm, I'm smelling a I'm smelling a team rocket here. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I'm gonna have to. I got a friend of mine. On a different Discord server, wanted me to play Pal World, but I need to get back to play Pal World. To be fair, I've actually been really enjoying Pal World recently. As oh, by the way, it, it's, it's gonna be... as people call it Pokemon yeah. with 
guns. Which is hilarious. Oh, and by the way, there's gonna be a new update on the on Pal World. Yeah, I heard about that. I th think I gotta get the uh, the update version of it. Holy shit! Come on, you give me some, man. You're all giving me some good fucking hell knights, man. Oh, this is hell. So this is their guardian. And I don't have to worry about stamina because I'm in hell. Stamina is nothing. Hey, I'm, hey, Zen, I, uh, I don't remember, but on Robocop, you didn't support any of the candidates for the mayor position, right? I tried to, but somehow it ended up me picking John Mills. Mm. Well, it doesn't matter who we picked. I think yeah, it either matter. we. I think the ending would have been the same thing for either one of these guys. Yeah, it's the same ending. Just always pick the one to save the old man, like I did. Oh, that one's—that's uh, not going to be a problem. That's uh, that's uh, that's what I'm going to do for sure. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know politics. I don't—I don't see Robocop being about uh, being implicated in politicians. Uh, they didn't even have it in the movie like that either. No, they wasn't. I hear AJ Bualda's grunting noise again. In hell. Oh, oh no! It's like. For real? Oh it's, my God. it's the Minky Biz making that noise, but if you put on the sound, you can hear that grunting noise. It's like, it's like AJ, is that you? Agatha, you're under arrest. Hold it. Come on, Minky. Man, it takes like 58 rounds just to kill the Banky Bus with a chainsaw. I'm trying to save the rocket launcher for the boss. Man, I remember playing this map so many times on the OG Xbox back on Doom 3 when they had a co op. Such good times. Hello, Mr. Binkus! He's back. Let's have another one. Binkabus, Binkabus, Meetabus, Binkabus, Pokabus, Monkabus. Alright, so let's save again. Yeah, I'm playing this on hard mode, by the way, if you guys are wondering what difficulty this is. Or marine mode. Or marine mode, it's called, but yeah. Let's see. Alright, so here's the deal. I think the. Holy shit! What? I just found a new uh, Omni board right now that's tier 5.3. Equip it. <laughs> damn right, damn straight. The first reset the points. Well, you know what you think is? You can take those points from your previous board and you can insert it into the new board. True, but. Yeah, I'm I not. Uh, I prefer to reset it. But the most annoying thing about on uh, this part, to be fair, is uh, you have to be careful what to put over there so you can avoid the red spots. Yeah, that's the why. penalties. Oh, hell night again! Throwing your poke, throwing your ultra poke balls at my face. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Ultra poke balls. Pokemon reference, not Ultra, it's Ultra Balls. Oh, really? I thought you said Ultra. Hm. <laughs> I'm keeping my eye on you, pal. I hear a, I hear a baby. I hear a baby baby. Got a quick save again. Oh, I hear them coming. Just right in the middle of the saving. Ow, you little bastard! Wow, that thing got me. Fuck. God, I hate those. I hate those. Jesus Christ! 
Fuck you, you little shit! Where's a doctor when you need one? That's kind of the point. You don't need a doctor. Oh really? My soul is closer to you, huh, Butruger? Or should I call you Butruger? It's like saying Butruger, Butt Chuggled. Well, at least you don't call him Betrayer. <laughs> the Butt Chugged. Oh really? Ah, there's some health. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. Okay. To this portal, this will take me close. This would be the boss fight. All right. You sure about that? One way to find out. Into the portal we go. Save us. There's the soul cube. Well, you want to see the proof, Ultrafin? Mm, Here it is. Could be. It's the soul cube. Bring it. My guardian will destroy you. I like to see you try. Your guardian can destroy me. My gun can destroy you. Oh yeah, kill those light things, cause those are the, the things power sort the light source, because that will find me. But you can still kill him. And he runs superly fast. So the only way to kill that thing is that little blue orb that's over his head. That's his weakness. Yeah, those things destroy the secret. All right. Yeah, destroy the seekers. What's those light like things? Come on, you light. Come on, lighters. So what do you think of the boss altar, for The way it looks. Here's one. A ugly mother. Yep, that's all we can Teresa. say. Teresa, that's all I'm gonna say. Mother Teresa, I said Mother Teresa. Oh my God. Welcome to Teresa. Oh, okay. Oh, Shit. Come on, don't stop moving. Well, I'm in a real pickle. Okay, come on. And guess what? I beat the boss without taking any damage. Die, you son of a bitch. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. It's like Duke Nukem would say. Well, I have to say, that was one easy boss fight. And there's the soul cube that we need. So, Ultra Fan, you want to see the soul cube? Here it is. The most, the most ultimate weapon you can ever think that kills anything with one shot. No kidding. Well, I got 80% penalty right now. Dude, remove that shit. I can't. Well, you can. The problem, the thing is, if I if I remove those shit, I'll lose the yellow things. With you can the change it. Auto you, can, you can alternate with your chip boards. Oh, you gotta I do wish is, I... uh, the right boards. Just remove any boards from your previous board and insert it into your the last that you had into your inventory. And then re well, think about it, because that's how I did. If you watch my stream, you see how I do it. Yeah, I know how you did it. I saw how you did it, man. But the the problem is, the problem the problem is this: it's in the the, the penalty is in the middle between the good stuff and the and it's in the mid and the penalty is in the middle, which means I can't avoid it no matter what I want. Well, here you go, folks. This is the soul cube. We are the only way to destroy it. 
destroy Hell's mightiest warrior. Here it is. This is the soul cube that we have been looking for. Thank you, Jessica. Well, well, trainer Jessica just joined in. Oh, that's that's, that's Jessica. That's Jessica Pika's different account. No. Oh. Yeah, that was an awesome fight. I mean, it felt really easy for me just running around and killing the Seekers, the light thing that's called the Seeker. Oh, I love how the Soul Cube does it. And just killing the thing with the rocket launcher. I mean, you could just kill anything with it, but usually if I had a BFG 9000, I would have just probably one shot it. But I just used the rocket launcher for the orb. All right, so guess what? We got the Soul Cube and we're out of hell. We're getting out of hell. Okay, so I've avoided the 50 penalty. Okay. Well, I've managed to avoid that. And guess what? We're back at Mars. You had to use this channel because chat won't let... No, not won't let you use your main channel to talk. Oh, Jesus. That's stupid. You are too late. Hell no longer needs that. To enter this world, the invasion you saw was only the first wave. The Hellgate is capable of sending millions of my children into your world. Soon, the fleet from Earth will be here. And okay, done. We will bring this hell to Earth. This hell. Not if I can stop it, Petruger. Well, guess what? The downside is, I lost all my weapons from hell, and ever since I lost... Went to hell, I lost all my stuff when I went to hell. And I came I went to hell and I came back from hell. But the good news is We got the soul cube. And that's what we need to stop the, the hell gate in itself. But uh I hate to break another bad news because I would like to say I uh, will definitely say it's time to call it a night. Oh, I I've been, yeah, I know. I I've been streaming for like five hours. I've been looking at it. it's been like five hours since I've been playing Doom Three, and plus, over here it's seven thirty three p.m. here, so it's uh it's kind of yeah. getting pretty late. It's and Ultra Fins, where he lives in Romania, it's getting pretty late for him as well. It's like almost pretty yeah. It's well, actually, it's two forty six a.m. here in Romania, so basically almost free. Yeah. So yeah, I will have to say we're going to call it a night, folks. But uh, I'm going to do this one last thing before we're going to end the stream. So I'm going to exit the game. And uh, yeah, I had fun tonight with playing Doom 3, the good old classic. Hell yeah. Thanks for the hugs, Jessica. Hugs to you too as well. All right, folks. So let me pull this up one more time. And I'm going to get my music going up. Uh, it's not gonna be the Doom Three one, but I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play a different music. Let's see, uh, Carl Casey White Bat Audio. Yes, there we go. Let's play the old-fashioned way. Let's do it like this. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, one last thing, guys. I'm just gonna show you guys uh, the votes. So once again, if you guys have not placed your votes yet, uh, my votes is still up. For the next game we're gonna I'm gonna be doing after Doom 3 and Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil expansion pack is uh pretty much the So if you guys haven't placed your votes yet, uh please place your votes now. Because after this, we're gonna be pretty much gonna be playing what the next game's gonna be. So far, uh pretty much gonna be Diablo games because Diablo is in the lead. Which I'm talking about which Diablo? We're gonna be playing the first Diablo and including the Hellfire expansion pack of the first Diablo and then Diablo 2 along with Diablo 2 resurrect uh Lord of Destruction uh we're going to be continuing those games and then until then Ghost of Tsushima will be coming out on the 16th of May and I'm going to be restreaming Ghost of Tsushima for the first time in two to three years so yeah if you guys have not placed your votes place your votes now go to my community chat and go to this session if you guys see it that was posted two days ago do so right now and uh hope you guys will tell me your votes all right i'm gonna show you guys my fan server of velvet 
crone from Tales of Azeria. But uh, once again, uh, everybody, anybody in the chat, everybody in the live stream, I'm going to switch over to me now. i like to say thank you all for hanging out with me for this Saturday, this lovely Saturday night or Saturday evening, wherever you are. And uh, i like to say thank you for guys for hanging out with me tonight. And uh, I will be back on tomorrow at the pretty much the earliest, maybe about 2, maybe about 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If not, I'll do at two at two o'clock U.S. Eastern Time. If those who live in Europe, please check your uh, time zone. And those who live in a different U.S. Uh, or in parts of the area, please check your listing. And yeah, so we are going to continue with Doom Three, and hopefully, maybe tomorrow we'll finally beat Doom Three before we will go on to uh, Doom Three: Resurrection of Evil, which I will be playing pretty much about next week. And, uh, oh, I'm um, just also let you guys know as well, I will be hosting a multiplayer session next Saturday. Next Saturday, it's been a while since I did a multiplayer stream session. Tomorrow, as uh, so next week on Saturday, I will be hosting it if you guys have it on PC. Unfortunately, we are all going to be playing it on Steam. But I will be hosting Sonic Transform All-Star Transform Racing multiplayer session. If you guys have the game on Steam... Please let me know. Let us know if you want to join them for fun. We're going to have some good old racing with all the Sonic IP racing characters, including Sonic, Shamu, or any else like po uh, Monkey Ball, or uh, Samba de Amigo, or uh, Shamoon, or any sorts of Sonic IPs, because that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. So, And also, uh, don't forget the Shinobi. Yep, and Shinobi. But in any case, uh, I need to check the... There's nobody else for me this, to raid at the moment. Uh, Joe Musashi, that was his name. Joe Musashi. Mm. That too. But yeah, I had fun tonight. I hope you guys in the chat. And I uh, hope you guys had fun tonight. i like to thank uh, for those who are coming to the voice chat. Like my brother, Raid the Dungeon. I also like to thank Equitix and Carito for joining with me tonight, and also give a big shout out to Ultrafan, my brother, all the way from Romania. We're not blood related, but we're just brothers, best friends. We're, bro we're brothers and best friends, and we and we enjoy it, and we have one thing in common, and we enjoy doing it: yeah. playing video games. Yeah. One day we'll meet each other in the future, in real life. Who knows? You off when to go that's to stream, that's Jessica. Off. Pika hugs to you. I'll give you good hugs. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for hanging out with and me. Hugs, on my and, hugs bike from out, and hugs from me from Eltrofin as well, Jessica. Hope to see you again sometime. Hopefully, maybe you'll join on my channel uh, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We'll see. But in any case, uh, everyone, once again, thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for hanging out with me and my friend here tonight. It was fun. So, uh, one last thing before you guys go. Uh, if you guys would be very kindly, please leave a like in the channel. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you are clicking the notification channel because it's important. <laughs> and uh, one last thing for sure is uh, please continue supporting my channel, as like I said, because it's fucking awesome. The things I like to do, even though for a channel like this, but hey, I do some gun good content. So in the meantime, I will see you guys tomorrow. For once again, I will continue on with Doom 3. And then hopefully once we beat Doom 3, I'll save the stream for next week that we are going to be playing. I will be continuing Doom 3 with the expansion pack of Resurrection of Evil. So yes, the fight against hell will never stop. And it's not over yet. It ain't over until we say it's over. Until we close the gateway to hell. But in any case, uh, so with that like to say ultra fin any last fire words you want to throw in before the end of the stream before we dust off doom free is really a marvelous game i would i would definitely recommend this game maybe i would maybe i will also try to stream this thing as well who knows but uh, the game but the game uh, but i can really see a really a big competition right now between dead space and De and doom free i really can see it but I, but if I were to vote which is which would come superior, my vote goes for Doom Free. I'll be honest. I'll say it out loud. 
but it really is an awesome game and it brings out the nostalgia and everything so yeah my my suggestion play it don't wait for it get it and eric says he's gonna buy it right now good, good. well the thing is here's the thing you won't be getting the original you will jinx you just owe me a coke on that one <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One thing, uh, <laughs> if you buy the BFG edition, you will also get the original copy of Doom 3. Because I found out if you buy BFG edition, you will also own the original copy of Doom 3. Because the original, the original Doom 3 was available on Steam, but they took that down. But if you buy on the BFG edition, you but will also you... get the Doom 3 copy original. Along with Resurrection of the Evil, it also contains uh, Ultimate Doom and Doom 2. And it will include in the newest expansion pack, which was included to the BFG edition, which is the Lost Episodes. So, our recommendation, get the BFG edition if you want to get everything that that, that includes in it right now. Yes. Because you will not be sorry. And, of course, and of course, please give a like, leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts about this game of Doom Free. We really would like to see your suggestion. Give a like, and please subscribe to the to Zampax channel because it's fucking awesome. And we really uh, appreciate your support. Yep, as the Thunder God has spoken. So, uh, anyways, uh, take care, everybody. See you guys tomorrow for another Doom 3 session. And, uh, Thanks for coming by. Enjoy you guys' weekend. Have a good night. And I will see you all on the other side of the bridge. So, peace. Peace. Or maybe not, because we're in hell. Who knows? <laughs>